What's that? Christmas bells in July? That can only mean one thing. Christmas comes to Sewing Street. Oh, Chloe, that wasn't in the script. Join us this Monday here on Sewing Street for the launch of Christmas in July. We've got some fantastic brand new launches to share with you, including Liberty's brand new Deck the Halls range. We've got Delphine Brooks joining us with her exclusive stag panel and a Santa sack. And we've even got a special yarn lane just for Christmas. For all of these great Christmas projects and so much more, make sure you join us here on Sewing Street this Monday for Christmas in July. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you? It's Saturday. It's pouring with rain outside. It's like October the 31st. But, I mean, possibly that's a good thing because next week it's Christmas and it does feel like winter, let's be honest. Oh my goodness me. What a funny old day. But I'm here, you're here. We're spending the morning together here on Sewing Street. So let's just crack on, shall we? And let's do our early bird. Now today, we've got not one, but two. There's a reason why. Let me start with a bit of a, I don't know why I'm confessing. It wasn't me. Um, <laughs> we did this. Uh, we forgot, apparently we, me, everyone forgot that today was Saturday. Um, so we haven't got the early bird in the studio because um, the warehouse aren't there so um so so now we're having two early birds and one of them is here and one of them isn't anyway shall i just get on we'll start with this one right here now this is a gorgeous pastel um sort of bit of a rainbow bundle really it's absolutely gorgeous um i'll go through the colors in just a second now this is actually to complement a really beautiful bundle from henry glass called tweets and treats look at that absolutely gorgeous colors okay let me tell you the colors you've got fuchsia ice green Lemon, light lilac, uh, mint, pomegranate, and you've given me six, there's seven. And that one, which looks like wisteria or something like that, we'll just call that wisteria for today. So the price should be 2653 You've got a gorgeous selection there, three and a half meters of beautiful solids there, which this would go really nicely with the tweets and treats. It would also go really nicely with Tilda. Absolutely beautiful. Now, this is our makeshift early bird, so we shouldn't be taking any money off this at all, but we're going to. It's a special extra early bird. We'll take the price of a metre off. That's awesome. 18 95 for three and a half metres. And the good news is we've actually found the proper early bird. Hurrah! So you really shouldn't be getting this, but hey, I've committed now. We're doing it. So three and a half meters of fabric for eighteen ninety-five. That's awesome. That's like six pounds thirty-two or something. Six thirty-two a meter. 
No, it's no, it's less than that. How much is that a metre, Hannah? £18.95, three and a half metres. That's absolutely amazing. Morning, Laurie. Morning. She says, morning, Stuart. Happy Saturday. Absolutely. Bit of a bit of a mad start to the Saturday, to be honest. But all good. £2.70 a half metre. 5 40 a half metre. That is fantastic value. And thank you, Kat, for finding the proper early bird. Your timing was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Just at the point at which we discounted the hey, have the discount. Why not? Why not? Uh, 1895 by three and a half meters. Now I've got fewer than 20 of these left. It's absolutely gorgeous. Love the ice cream, mint, lemon. Uh, what's that one? Pomegranate. Fuchsia, light lilac, don't know what that one is, but it's lovely, absolutely gorgeous selection there, beautiful, make a lovely, lovely baby quilt. Ah, oh, Pam's got in touch, morning Stuart, that shirt is stunning, thank you, you don't think it looks like I'm about to go to the pub and play darts? I do love a game of darts, <laughs> you can see by the way through it can't you I'm a real pro <laughs> oh gosh well it's actually it's a while since I've played darts but I do like a game uh, absolutely lovely single figures of that left now single figures that is single figures beautiful such a lot of fabric for the money too it's awesome value quilt backings linings for bags really good chance to stock up it's about to sell out now i've got my proper early bird next this require there it is that's what i like to see there we go right i'm just going to quickly rearrange this because it's making my eye twitch in a way that only colors in the wrong order can i say the wrong order who's to say a eh? Who's to say that's the wrong order? Anyway, I'm gonna do this. So here we go, but I want you to see just how much beautiful fabric you've got. Look at that. Look at that. That is really beautiful rainbow for 53 pound and six pence, but it won't be 53 and six because this is our early bird. You're gonna save the equivalent of one and a half meters of fabric here. Here's the crash, should be 53. It's going down to 41.69 for seven meters. That's less than three pounds a half meter. That's absolutely fab. Are we gonna look at colors? Yeah. So let's see if I can recognize my colors. <laughs> Sorry, I've just got a laugh. Pam said, is that dartboard on the floor? <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Pam, naughty. Right. <sighs> Azalea pink. <laughs> Buttercup. Candy blue. Cardinal. Corn yellow, <laughs> emerald, imperial, that's purple, lavender, I know that one, lime, what, um, um, that one, pit, oh, well I've gone wrong haven't I, go on, any more, powder blue, salmon, and scarlet, Oh gosh, no. There was a pink and another pink and I got it all wrong. Anyway, aren't they beautiful? And by the way, can we just celebrate the fact that today is National Cowboy Day? Yeehaw. Uh, fabulous. Thank you, Fiona, for reminding me. National Cowboy Day. It's also um, National Pie Approximation Day. Um, nothing to do with cherry, apple or meat and potato. Apparently it's that 3.14 so and so and so and so something. Yeah. Yeah. Who knew? Huh? Who knew? Anyway, absolutely gorgeous rainbow there. 
41 pounds 69 that means you get a meter and a half for free total there though 14 half meters seven meters of fabric for 41 69 it's just brilliant absolutely brilliant collector from tiny weirs got in touch good morning Stuart love the shirt thank you what about the attitude <laughs> no <laughs> no one does a rainbow like you Stuart oh Wendy bless your heart bless your heart do love it it's just it's like a new box of crayons isn't it and you might have seen my little post this week on my social media getting the ink tense pencils rainbows do make me very very happy a new box of crayons it's just so inspiring if you feel like you need a bit of a boost to your creativity get one of the rainbow bundles this morning because i promise you when you get these fabrics home take them to your scraps take them to your stash and start pulling fabrics if it's got in touch good morning Stuart and crew enjoying this great start to my saturday Yvette. oh fantastic thanks for joining us Yvette. What have you got planned for the rest of the day? Um, I looked out this morning and I just can't believe the rain. It's just stay in, stay cosy. It's July, it's July. We should be barbecuing anyway. Um, Fiona says also you can celebrate National Hammock Day, National Penuche Fudge Day, National Creme Brulee Day. I'm in National Mango Day. There's a lot of food in there, Fiona. I approve. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. All right, less than 20 of these bundles left now. Oh, single figures. <laughs> that was quick. Check out your baskets though, please. Check out your baskets. Look at all that loveliness. Absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. I don't know if you've noticed, by the way, I happen to be sporting a rather gorgeous badge right here. No, I'll talk about it later. I'll talk about it later been getting very seasonal this morning right let's look at the menu and see what's coming up on today's show all right so starting off at eight o'clock we've got fabulous fabrics and we've got a beautiful new range to share with you now at nine o'clock we've got a couple of fabulous new quilt books with emma bradford conscious crafts quilting and quick and easy quilt blocks two really really essential resources ten o'clock uh, favourite fabrics, Tim Holtz fabric bundles. Uh, it's all going to be about colour and texture. At 11 o'clock, uh, we're going to get a bit of a, a ruler masterclass from Emma Bradford. She's got the double wedding ring template set from Creative Grids. And she's also got, look at this, oh, scrap classic, love that. She's also got the 12 inch log cabin block and the um, curvy log cabin. So many possibilities with that one. Okay, now also at uh, 12 o'clock, we have got full hour of Brother Sewing Machines. We're gonna be looking at the Brother FS250. We're also gonna be looking at the fabulous uh, embroidery machine from Brother, and there are big savings on both machines. Both machines, both machines, yes. Embroider so if you've been wanting an embroidery machine, 12 o'clock's the hour. If you've been looking for a sewing machine that will do so with, a walking foot included for free I think it's for free yeah 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 and cash off and cash off so stick around for 12 o'clock that's the brother sewing machine hour a great morning here on sewing street now I alluded to this badge here because I just want to remind you that on Monday it's Christmas that was my noddy holder. No, it's not Muppets Christmas Carol. Oh, you are rude to me sometimes, honestly. She's got a real attitude. I thought I'd got an attitude today, but Hannah, oh my goodness me, there's gonna be trouble. Um, yes, Christmas in July starts on Monday. Uh, so if you wanna get ahead of the game, definitely tune in. Uh, that should be a fun old week. Right, let's get started, shall we? Let's get started. I'm going to show the web. I can show the website. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's look at the website. It's www.sewingstreet.com. And then once you get there, click on watch live. 
Now, can you see that? We love our messages. Send a message to the studio. Could you send messages of support, please? Like, Hannah, leave Stuart alone. That sort of thing would be good. Be nice to Stuart Day. How about that as a national day? Um, then you've got our two early birds, the fabulous Big Rainbow Bundle and the Tweets and Treats complimentary fabric. But, oh, that's sold out. Well done if you got that. Um, and then, obviously, click down. You'll see what's coming up on today's show. Uh, today's show deals, you'll see we've got Tilda. We've got some beautiful new blue fabrics, blue work. Really lovely, that. Um, We've got Emma Bradford's hours. Now we're going to start with tweets and treats, aren't we? Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's get stuck into the fabric. Tweets and treats. So if I just grab the complimentary bundle for a second, that has sold out, but these are our sort of, this is our palette. So if you've gone for the complimentary bundle I think you're gonna really love this really love this so this is brand new from Henry Glass it's called tweets and treats now we're starting off with a bundle uh, now this is 7241 you've got a gorgeous but oh oh this is lovely Oh, we've got half meters as well but let me show you the bundle first of all so there are two panels plus fabric, four meters, and you're getting half a meter for free. So let's start off, oh, this is cute, really cute. So it all kind of centers around uh, little birds, beautiful birds, and sweet treats. This is a really cute panel. So if it was someone's birthday, a baby shower, yeah, special birthday celebration. This, you could use this to make a really lovely kind of birthday banner or quilt. Um, so you've got all my favorite things there, macaroons and fairy cakes, little chocolate layer, little chocolate layer. You've got some cupcakes, uh, what we always used to call butterfly cakes, but they were the ones where you cut the bit of, uh, you cut a bit of sponge out here, filled it and then put the wings in. I suppose fairy cakes, butterfly cakes. Very nice. Um, little strawberry layer cake there and little, beautiful little birds and butterflies all around. It's very, very sweet, isn't it? And you've got really nice little sort of decorative edging at the top and the bottom as well. I thought Stuart was doing his best Muppet impression too. What, just generally, Melanie? Just generally? <laughs> no, that was Noddy Holder. It's Christmas! I love the fact that it sounded more like a Muppet than Noddy Holder. <laughs> I don't think the BBC are going to call, are they? I think I need to just accept that. <laughs> Move on. Here's your second panel. This is so useful. This is all in the bundle. Look, here you've got 15 of these images. Those are fab, aren't they? Each one, let me just give you the measurements, about six and a half inches square each one. So there's a nice sort of line around it where you could either cut on that or if you want to get it sort of super duper or accurate or particular measurement you can cut into this turquoise background as well these would be really nice to make as the center of blocks or the center of a log cabin do strips going around it something like that or frames very very nice very very nice oh claire's got in touch to say good morning stuart and all ikuko's got in touch to say hello stuart's shirt is very nice Thank you. Lots of love for the shirt today. Oh, but yes, yeah, some really nice images. Thank you, Tanuka. Um, little teacups, jug. Absolutely lovely. I'm not Kermit the Frog, and I stop it at once. So you're getting that panel as well. Um, are these panels available individually? Yeah, we'll do those in a sec. We'll do those in a sec. And then these are your coordinates. Okay. Oh, okay, right. So coordinates now, you're also getting these as well. 
So here are all your coordinates. Love the macaroons. So you're getting eight different coordinating fabrics, four meters in total, plus your two panels for 72.41. It's gorgeous, really lovely. Uh, Wendy's got in touch. Ah, they just don't appreciate such talent. Don't ever change, Stuart. I won't ever change, Wendy, and neither will my twin. <laughs> the evil twin that got into the studio yesterday. Did you see my twin brother turned up at work yesterday and caused absolute havoc? No one even noticed that uh, he had snuck into the building. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, check out my socials. <laughs> <laughs> it was a scary picture. Right, let's do macaroons by the half metre because this is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, do actually, my sister in law bought me a box of macaroons recently and they were delicious, but I could only manage one at a time. No, no, I mean literally in sittings. They were very sweet. I haven't actually got that sweet a tooth. So one was very sweet. So that was it. I was done for the day. So they lasted me about a fortnight. Yeah, I know. I know. It was like a box of chocolates lasts me about a month because I can only eat one a day. <sighs> Don't worry, I make up for it in savouries. Don't be concerned about my health. And that's gorgeous, isn't it? We're really nice. You could do things like lovely placemats. A table runner would be sweet with this. Um, or serviettes. Oh, a border on a quilt. Yes, yes, yes. You could do your piecing, perhaps with kind of complementary colours, like that, and then have as your border or sashing fabrics in between. I mean, actually, if you were just going perhaps for one of the panels, this, some complementary solids, that would look absolutely lovely. Love the fact that you've got those little daisies in there as well, mixed in with the macaroons. Macaron. Dressmaking would be sweet. Little girl's party dress. That would be adorable. Absolutely adorable. Yeah, really cute, really cute. 7.49 a half metre, like that. Yes, like a stripe. This is great. Now, if you're going for um, a panel, this would be really good, actually, for doing a big border. So this is printed, a printed stripe. You've got four repeats of this stripe here okay this stripe here so we've got english fine tea green tea tea time marvelous macaroons green tea english tea oh yeah if you have a cafe that would be cute this would be a lovely border on a quilt it would be a lovely border on a tablecloth as well Yeah, little tote bags, that would be nice. That would be really nice. Or if you were having like a tea party baby shower and you could have these as gift bags. So you could cut this out, make it up into a little gift bag for people to take home, you know, with a piece of, of cake. Yeah, cake. Love it. I want to send some love to Louise. Good morning, Stuart. I can't do any crafting at the moment. As I ha as I stacked it, well, oh, does that mean fall, fell over? Oh, bless you. I stacked it, walking the dog. I've never heard that. And Grace, both hands and knees. I can still shop on Sewing Street though. Oh, Louise, you poor thing. Did the dog pull you over or was it just trip? Oh, you put, I've never heard that phrase, stacked it. Oh, oh, you stacked it, mate. Oh, well, I feel for you. I feel for you. That's horrible, isn't it? Oh, and it's the achiness afterwards. Well, sit back, relax, enjoy, have a macaroon. Just stay with us, my darling. We'll make you feel better. We'll, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Tick ups, tick ups, jugs and hearts. Got it, on pink. 
was a pop band in the 80s, wasn't it? <laughs> Jugs and Hearts. <laughs> Sounds like a detective series, doesn't it? That they'd show at three o'clock, weekdays. Jugs and hearts. Fighting crime from their tea shop in Wensleydale. Yeah, let's write it. Let's do it. Uh... Lisa Lambs got in touch to say macaroon fabric would also make a great little 50-year-old's dress too. I couldn't agree more, Lisa. Next time I see you. It's a fabulous idea. Absolutely. Yeah, I hate saying little girl's dress. I mean, anybody's dress. Or a little boy's shirt. Or a little boy's... A big boy's shirt. Yeah, big boy shirt. <laughs> Carol's going to touch to say, Morning, love the gnome quilt. Oh, that's I Love Snow Miss. That's coming up on Saturday. I'm guesting on Saturday, a week today. And I've got I Love Snow Miss brushed cotton flannel fabric. It's lovely. And also I've got brand new um, stockings and bags, which you might have spotted on my socials as well. Sandra says, Morning, lovely Stuart. Lots of wet sunshine up here in Glasgow this morning too. Ah, Tracy. Morning, Stuart. Wish I could watch all day, but I've got to go to work. Hope you have a fab day, even in that shirt, Tracy and Go. What? What? Do you not like the shirt, Tracy? Not a fan. Not a fan. I'll be there in ghoul tonight, on the hockey, throwing darts into the floor. I'll be there. I'll be there. <laughs> well, you know, it's, yeah, I, to be honest with you, I put it on this morning and I wasn't sure. So, who knows? Anyway, teacups and hearts. Pretty. Lovely. Um, any of these would be really nice for things like tea cozies or um, little, oh, mug rugs, things like that. Yeah. What next? Yes. Is that this one here? Yeah. Oh, this has been really popular on pre-order. They're just really fun, aren't they? They're pretty, they're feminine, they're delicious, all those lovely cakes. Are they budgerigars? I'm not sure. I'm, I would say Bluebird. I would say Bluebird. Carol's got in touch to say, love your shirt, thank you. I'd set up like a voting system, you know, but I'm afraid of the results. <laughs> it's actually Kat, um, who, who's our floor manager today, said to me this morning, Oh, unusual to see you in anything other than a blue shirt. <laughs> I think I've got a reputation, haven't I? Charlie always laughs at me every time I buy a new blue shirt. He's always like, Oh, well, that's a bit different, isn't it? A blue floral shirt. Lowest form of wit. Susie's got in touch. Hi, Susie Duncan. Morning, Stuart. Glorious shirt. D reminds me of my childhood in Japan. The fabric, these fabrics are perfect for my afternoon teas. Oh, Susie, I want an afternoon tea with you. I imagine there'd be Earl Grey tea, scones with jam and cream, lots of cake, a minimum of sandwiches, a maximum of cake. Uh, yeah, got that one. Oh, now this, yeah, there's just one thing on here. I've got to just love that. Love that. That is fabulous. That is fabulous. Really like that. An apron would be really fun in that, wouldn't it? Really fun. Just got to put a love tea, love tea, lapsang souchong. No. No, 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 no. I, do you know, I always wanted to try it because I loved the name. As a child, I thought, oh, that's fabulous. Lapsang Souchon, it sounded so sophisticated. It's smoked tea. It's smoked tea. And, and I don't like smoked anything. Smoked bacon, smoked cheese, smoked ham. And this is smoked tea. And I still, it, oh, no, no. I'm not going to look, I'm not going to think about that when I look at this fabric. I'm going to see all the beautiful colours and the prints. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Trace has got in touch. Oh, an old fashioned penny. Yes. Yes, exactly that. Crossover, frilly down the sides, 
proper old-fashioned pinny. It'd be lovely, absolutely beautiful. Michelle needs some love this morning. Oh, Michelle in Greater London. Morning, Stuart. Watching while trying to nap. Hubby is in hospital awaiting a triple bypass. So my insomnia has insomnia, but you're cheering me right up. Oh, Michelle, listen, first of all, mm, big kisses to you and your husband. We'll all be thinking of you today. Um, Everything's going to be great. I'm sure of it. And uh, just stay with us and uh, we'll keep cheering you along and uh, let us know how everything goes. And do you know, Dr. Stewart, you say that I had to, had to be on hand with medical, medical assistance this morning in my hotel. It's all been going on. It really has. It's all been going on. Um, the ones with lines on. It's very specific, Hannah. Thank you. Here we go. Let, how would you describe this fabric? It's the one with lines on. Uh, you think? It's not smaller, it's just far away, Hannah. I love this. On your special day. Uh, does it end 15? I'm looking for a label. No, there's no label on there, you see. Oh, there is. No, this ends 3-8. We haven't got that. Haven't got that. Oh, okay. So it's like this, but it's got an aqua background. I'm just going to look. No, no. Oh, wait a minute. Is it this one? No, that's the border. Oh. Right, okay. So this, this stripe I showed you earlier on, it's this. So this big border fabric is this. The details are on screen now. Birds and Cakes Aqua, okay, which is gorgeous, love that. And then the one I've got now will give you those details. So this could still absolutely be used as a border print because it's got those lines already and it's a nice sort of linear print, but it's perhaps less formal as a border. It is gorgeous. Any of these, by the way, these big prints would be brilliant for things like stack and whack and one block wonder quilts. Really good. And then I've got a couple of lovely florals as well. Pink. Mm. There's the pink floral. Just a lovely, pretty fabric. That would be beautiful to use for something like a double Irish chain. Use that as the alternate blocks. We should have tea together, says Christine. You can eat my cake and I'll eat your sandwiches from Christine. Well, Christine, it sounds lovely, but I do, I, I, I am actually more of a savoury person. I know I said minimal sandwiches and maximum cake, but that was just me being greedy. But I do like the sandwiches. I don't want to share Christine, basically, is what I'm saying. I want all of my sandwiches and all of my cake. But tea together sounds lovely. <laughs> Morning, Stuart. Uh, your shirt looks fine, though blue is better. Uh, hearts and jugs. Very Alice in Wonderland. Have a great day. Craig and Dan in Suffolk. Thank you. Yeah, do you know, I might have to change later. I don't know if I feel comfortable enough out of blue. Craig, I'm not sure. Is it? Is it fine though? I don't know. <laughs> Shirt looks fine. <laughs> it's not great. It's just fine. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. I'm going to take that as support and solidarity. <laughs> right, last one. <laughs> oh, love this fresh sort of minty aquary background it's just fresh and vibrant isn't it it's giving me good energy carol's got in touch love chai tea oh me too chai tea is lovely we were once one time when charlie and i were in australia we were on the beach and we got chatting to somebody walking their dog and he said oh guys you should come along to warhope tonight we're having a chai tent a chai tent um to raise money it was just after they had all the terrible bushfires some years ago chai tent we thought that sounds jolly anyway basically it was sort of in a village hall and it was a fundraiser so it just meant there was like a charity bar we drank wine 
I didn't have tea. No, no. But it was amazing because like basically all the locals that played musical instruments or sang just did a turn and they got me to draw the raffle because I was English. <laughs> To be honest, I think I was a bit of a disappointment. I think they were hoping for more. I think they were hoping for more. But um, anyway, yes. Anyway, two panels. Should we do the big one? Yeah. So this is the big panel. Again, I just think this would be lovely as a birthday banner. And you could bring this out for every birthday, couldn't you? Or special teas or... Um, a little fundraiser if you love baking or you know someone that does it's absolutely gorgeous it's really it's long it's difficult to show everything but look beautiful morning student team love your shirt my husband would love one too penny oh penny you can have this one <laughs> i'm not coming on air looking fine <laughs> Oh, actually, no, that's not true, because if someone says, you're fine, that's actually... I think that's what Craig meant. No, I, no, I know what he meant. Thank you, Anna. I look fine. I like that. Going to take that. Looking fine. Yes, I am. And then our last panel from Tweets and Treats. It's safer to wear a blue shirt, isn't it? Doesn't cause the controversy. Love this, love this. Can think of so many, so many ways to use this. Actually, even things like card making, it would be lovely. You could do a bit of mixed media. Um, and also, this would be really nice to make little bags out of, you know, either flat bags or like Japanese rice bags where you've got the square sides be really lovely oh another hi Stuart your shirt is lovely and your green one last week I love you in all colours Terry thank you Hannah's over there by the way yeah it's cocked a snook at you hasn't it good in all colours yes thank you Terry very nice I'm gonna take that Lovely. I wasn't sure about the green shirt last week either, but thank you. Mega Bundle, one last time. You've got two panels. You've got eight half meters of coordinates. Everything I've just shown you, beautiful. Um, and you're getting half a meter for free, 72.41. Um, but we have got single figures of those now. Right, I'm gonna hand those to you, thank you. So, Tilda New. Brilliant, okay. So this is Bloomsville, which is the brand new Tilda fabric. So I've got bundles with four or five fabrics. The one with red, there's four. These ones, there's five. So where would you like to start? Purple's a great place to start. Well, you've got blues, you've got purples, you've got pinks in there. So it starts off with that sort of hero print of the lady in a beautiful, graceful kimono with a parasol, beautiful, almost sort of willow pattern like scenes in the background, but in these gorgeous, vibrant lilacs, oranges, bright pink. Um, I used these fabrics a lot in my samples, this colourway. I just loved it. This one, little maple tree. Absolutely beautiful quality. This one has a sort of almost Dutch chintz, Dutch heritage uh, feel to it. This one too. Beautiful, beautiful fabrics. If you saw the Tilda launch show, you'd have seen I used all of these in a Galleria quilt um, that I made. <laughs> there's your five aren't they fabulous and just mix in a little bit of solid in there just to break up if you want to to break up that pattern looks absolutely gorgeous uh, some messages morning Stuart your shirt's wonderful and your happy attitude brightens any day you're my favorite Kaz you're my favorite thank you uh, rude Hannah rude. she just said missed out the word Muppet 
honestly, uh, Sandra's got in touch to say, love the shirt, Stuart. Thank you, thank you. Marie said, morning, Stuart. Got to go out at 11 to a knitting group. That sounds like fun. In a cafe, village hall, that kind of thing. Uh, new revived interest. Nothing like getting together with other people, is there, to sort of get you going. Really looking forward to next week. Christmas, hurrah! Love that. Bronwyn's got in touch. Stuart's shirt is lovely. You would look lovely even in a black bin bag. <laughs> Bronwyn, that's lovely. I just, all I could think of, I know you meant like with a hole cut for the head and that. All I could think of was me in the back with the top <laughs> thrown in. <laughs> like the start of a taggart. You know? I mean, they're walking to work. Next thing, there'd be, you know, a bin lorry with a big, suspicious-looking black bag. You think, oh, it's not looking good for him, is it? Do you ever do that when you... <laughs> do you ever do that when you're watching one of these programmes? <laughs> and when it starts, you know, somebody making a cup of coffee, and they're all sitting there thinking, doomed, doomed! <laughs> yeah, or casualty absolutely rickety ladder somebody goes out with a mop ready to do the cleaning thing don't do it don't do it just go inside and watch sewing street <laughs> oh dear oh doomed doomed beautiful love 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 tilda fabrics they're so easy to work with they're such amazing quality and this is the last of honestly is the last of we have tilda fabrics in for a few weeks that's all they launch they mostly sell out and then if you miss that show thank goodness for shows like today because this is kind of the last of but absolutely beautiful range there um once you've checked out, there's six of these left. Six more chances. Cheryl's got in touch. Stuart, you look fabulous. Red is a very auspicious colour and cranes represent long life. Red is also the colour of loyalty. I love that. I love that. And also, am I right? Like in, is it China? Wedding dress? Red. Because it's the colour of like prosperity and, and um, positivity and all that. I do love red and orange. I'm just not always sure that it suits me, but it goes with my eyes. <laughs> Passion and desire. Well, that's me. That is me all over. And also danger and aggression. Lovely. You're more on the right line now. Yes, lovely. <laughs> Ah, uh, I'm changing in the break. I'm changing. Mm. Mm. People wear red consistently attract more of the opposite sex. <laughs> I say, <laughs> definitely changing. <laughs> but when I say I'm changing, I don't mean I'm changing, obviously. I'm far too old to change. Uh, can we do the yellows? Honestly, stop. Now, um, I fell in love with Tilda kind of mustards and golds when we did Chic Escape because they did the mustards and golds for that and I just fell in love with them. And this range is no exception. Uh, these are just beautiful and put with turquoises, aquas, that little bit of pink as well is just stunning, isn't it? Beautiful blues there as well. Oh, I say. No, that I'm going to repeat, Hannah. Just repeat again. Men wearing red are rated as more attractive, powerful, and actually desirable. I can't even say it, let alone be it. Goodness me. Ah, oh, Sue's got in touch to say, I've been watching series one of The Sewing Bee. You really rocked a waistcoat, Stuart. Love the shirt, love Sue. Ah, oh, thank you. I had another lovely message yesterday. Somebody was watching series one of Sewing Bee and it was such a groundbreaking 
series long before Sewing Street, but definitely kick-started and revived. And you know, because at the time everyone was like, who'd want to watch sewing on TV? Mm -hmm. Little did they know. Um, fab, thank you, thank you. Such a long time ago, I was a baby, I was a baby. I uh, love this combination. Isn't it beautiful? You've got the ladies in their kimonos, these beautiful larger scale florals, this vibrant kind of Dijon gold mustard backgrounds, this beautiful sky blue and turquoise, just lovely. Little hint of pink in there as well. 37.45, which is phenomenal value as well. You're getting two and a half meters here of beautiful brand new Tilda. Yeah, Tilda's Tilda's palettes are distinct, and they they go through sort of phases. So so this will kind of match up with a few seasons ago. They they kind of rotate the color palette. It's there's always kind of reds, blues, purples, greens, but the shades very vary quite a lot. But then they repeat. So um, just lovely, just lovely. I've got seven of these left seven of these this is the last of now and it only launched a few weeks ago let's do green next now these again i used a lot of these in one of my samples and i mixed these with um sort of reds and pinks because this it really gave it life isn't this gorgeous so you've got these lovely jade greens with pinks instantly going in baskets we haven't got very many of these i'll just warn you we haven't got very many of these but it is the most divine combination of colors isn't it i love the fact that it's not all the same green we've got some more vibrant leafy greens in there and some jade we've got a little bit of blue a little bit of pink which just brings the whole thing to life doesn't it yeah absolutely it's kind of ocean it's rainforest isn't it because it's where you get all of the greens including the ones that are blue and including the ones that are yellow and and really sort of all that different vibrancy all together oh carol says you seemed very shy on the sewing bee not now not now <laughs> Do you know what it was? I'll tell you what it was. Uh, it, when I applied for the sewing bee, we were supposed to be doing things like making bags, quilts, home decor, which I do, and then a bit of dressmaking, which I didn't really. I don't do much now of dressmaking, but I didn't do really any then. And I'd said, I don't do that. And, and I was like, oh, it's fine. There's loads of other things you can do. And then when we actually came to film it, it was all dressmaking, of course. So I just thought this is going to be a horror story and i need to try i wasn't really shy then i mean you are who you are aren't you but i just thought i've got to blend in the background so i can kind of not be noticed get kicked out in the first round and then just slip away quietly you know so as not to make a fool of myself didn't really work out like that because once i got there i thought no i got this i can do something i know how to sew how hard can it be um and ended up in the semi-final so you know it's worth a try isn't it it's always worth a try you've got to give life a shot god loves a trier as i remember saying at the time um uh fiona says so thinking of those that wear red postmen wear red but often get bitten by dogs and bulls react badly to red so could be described as dangerous oh fiona you really put me off now <laughs> Oh, Hannah does like a man in uniform, apparently. Only postmen. Fair enough. Fair enough. Christian says, morning, gorgeous Stuart Hillard. Happy Saturday and school's out for summer. Did that sound like a Muppet? No, I shouldn't have asked really, should I? Yes, of course. All teachers, all kids out there. Hurrah. It's the summer holidays. Congratulations. All parents out there. What can I say? What can I say? It'll be September before you know it. 
Ah, oh, no, it's a lovely, lovely time of year. It's gorgeous. Spend time together. This bundle's about to sell out. Um, while we've been chattering away, uh, well, it's not really we, is it? It's me. Um, it, they've been flying into baskets and flying back out again. So if you want these gorgeous greens, you will need to be very, very quick. Last opportunity to get them. There are two not checked out, so there are still two chances, but seven of you want those beautiful green fabrics oh Jan says morning Street and everyone done the shopping so now I can stay in and watch Sewing Street hurrah that's it get the jobs out the way sit back and relax lovely to have your company um, last bundle from Bloomsville this is a four part um, bundle so two meters and these are the reds which are just gorgeously vibrant now the first one um, actually has quite a taupe, taupe background. Um, this would fit in actually with quite a few of the different fabrics, a few of the different colourways, but that's gorgeous. Um, and then you've got this lovely, sort of almost like a um, tomato-y red. But then next up, we've got this fabulously vibrant pink. So I used these in my main quilt for the launch and um, and I did, I must admit, I did mix in some of these greens. You can so easily mix in anything. I could have mixed in some of the yellows because you've got that golden yellow um, featured. You could mix in the blues, you could mix in the greens. It's very, very easy to work with, you know. I. I I make some, I think I make some really nice quilts with Tilda and I'm not really taking much credit for that because you don't have to try very hard with Tilda at all. You know, some fabrics you have to try hard with, don't you? Because they can be a bit challenging. Whereas Tilda is easy. You could literally throw them on the ground and roll in them and they'd look fabulous. Oh, I should do that sometime. Lovely. And, and these have a gorgeously kind of vibrant, that, oh, I just love it. That would make the most amazing border for um, a scrap quilt. And if you buy half a metre, you know, you could make a scrappy wall hanging that was about 40 inches square and you could do a lovely maybe four and a half inch border around that quilt using this fabric, just a half metre. So don't look at it and think, well, there's only half a metre there because you could actually get quite a decent border out of that for a wall hanging. Cornerstones. Beautiful, beautiful. Really lovely. Right, now I've got some bloom, a bloom uh, little duos. They're all limited. They're all last of as well. Yep. Plum and Iris. I've got three of these bundles left. Okay, so you get half a metre of this one, half a metre of this one. I had to make cushions out of both of these because I absolutely love these colours. Yeah, you don't have to do anything. Literally, I, I layered it, quilted it, and made a cushion up, and I put, I used our hot tomato, and I bound the edges of the cushion for that one, and did the backing with it. And then this one, I've got two left now. This one, I teamed with our powder blue, which is this. And I did a quilted cushion again, square cushion, and I did piping cord around the outside edge of that, with that one, and they're on my sofa at home. One bundle left and then it's gone. It's gone. One more. Still a chance if you're quick. Fabulous, aren't they? This was the coordinate for Bloomsville. Can't believe it, can you? It looks like a range in, its, in itself. I've got four of these bundles left. Look at the energy in there. This here, this kind of sea green with golden and tangerine. It's just giving me life. Love that. Absolutely love that. I'm just going to open it out so you can see how the print looks across a slightly bigger... Isn't it lovely? It's like a sort of chinoiserie or a toile almost, but floral. It's just very 
modern and traditional at the same time. Don't know how they keep on coming up with these amazing concepts, but they do. And then you've got this one here, which is that fabulous combination of blue and yellow. Now, just to say, if you went for the yellow blue bundle, this is just perfect as a extra to go in your quilt. I used a lot of these in my main tilde quilt because they just work so beautifully. Very, very limited on that one now. Okay, next up, mm, let's do this one here. So, again, I used both of these actually in my two quilts. This one I mixed with the blues and this one I mixed with the reds and pinks. And normally, with the coordinate range from Tilda, I usually make a separate project with them on their own. But this time, I just felt they were such special fabrics, they deserve to sit side by side with the main collection. So I put them in the main quilt and they just worked brilliantly. Love both of these. These would be great for bags. Or a shirt. Love the Tilda, says Collector in Merseyside gorgeous aren't they so lovely to combine with their other ranges too also love your shirt today Stuart thank you very much thank you all right I'll keep it on I'll keep it on I will I will now I will what's next hmm well I love these two these are a little softer a little quieter than the others it's interesting how Tilda's evolved isn't it because to begin with it was very sort of ditzy, small florals, very vintagey, and, and now they've definitely got a hold of their more vibrant self. But this, vintage, authentic, yeah, still stays very true. This one works absolutely beautifully with our silver mink solid. It's a perfect match for that. If you want something that's got, you know, quiet colour, still lovely, um, depth to it but just a little quieter and this one I think would work really nicely with something like a chocolate brown or a taupe something like that or even a soft pink absolutely lovely gorgeous little combos aren't they this is literally the last of stock now so if you want to get hold of any of these bundles you must be quick I've got six of these left lots and lots in baskets can't remake any of these bundles either um, because literally out of many of them okay last bundle uh is this one right here again i used this one for a cushion at home and also in my quilt rhubarb and custard yeah yeah pretty isn't it really pretty love that that would be so sweet for a little dress a little sundress and you could i think make a little baby sundress or a toddler sundress out of this shearing elastic at the top little skirt little spaghetti straps probably for a, up to about a two-year-old out of that out of half a meter adult bucket hat that'd be lovely maybe mix it with a solid something like that would be lovely is this lemon i think this is lemon yeah, that would work really well. So they work really well with our solids as well. Fab, right, last of again. I'm just gonna head over the other side. Come hither. Because yesterday I announced that we were doing the um, Elna 680 Plus with a huge saving. Now our regular price for the Elna 680 Plus is £1,249. Now just to give you a comparative price, the RRP and available elsewhere, £1,399. So we're already £150 under. Okay, here we go. So regular price, they actually have got, a, oh no, there we go, £1,399. There's the price. Uh, so we're already £150 cheaper than that. And many, many of you have bought this machine and are absolutely loving it. Uh, John's got the 680 plus. I've got the 680. I've got no plus. 
I thought you said I'd got no class. <laughs> that too, perhaps. But we've got a special price. We're going to take off proper cash money. Have a look at this. Uh, another hundred pounds. So we're now two hundred and fifty pounds cheaper than the RRP and the price for which you can buy this machine elsewhere. Now, we are the home of Elna. Moving forward, we're going to be the only place that retails Elna. We're always going to be competitive, but what a great deal right now. £250 cheaper than the RRP. £1,149. Just to put it into context, I got my Elna 680, not the plus, but the 680 nine years ago. It was £1,100 nine years ago. So right now you can buy this machine for £49 more than it would have cost you nine years ago. My Elna 680 is still going strong. I've just finished writing my fifth book on it. Uh, it's just an absolute performer every single time. It's wonderful. It comes with a walking foot included. It comes with the darning and quilting feet included. Everything like your automatic one-step buttonhole foot, of course, button sewing foot, blind hem, embroidery feet, zipper foot. Uh, all of those are already included as standard, a straight stitch foot, uh, quilting guide. You've also got an extension table, a knee lifter. You can use this with or without the foot pedal. Uh, you've got automatic needle up, needle down, of course, speed control, as standard. You've got 170 stitches and I've been really playing with some of the stitches um, recently uh, and if you have a look on my socials you'll see some of the Christmas stockings I've been making and using those creative stitches. They're all here and you get loads of stitches to play with. I'll just show you. So if you look here, first of all, you've got your straight stitch needle plate. So you get a straight stitch needle plate as well. Your machine automatically locks out all the other stitches that aren't compatible, which is a great safety feature. Then into mode one, all of these are your kind of utility stitches. Look at all those buttonholes. You can sew stretch fabrics with ease. You can sew any kind of fabric with ease. You've got quilting stitches there, blanket stitches, and you've a variety to choose from, button sewing, buttonholes, utility, that's just mode one. Mode two, I used a lot of these stitches in my Christmas stockings and bags I've been making. Just beautiful. And after nine years, I hadn't realized how beautiful these stitches are until I started stitching them out, especially with variegated thread. My goodness, they look amazing. Um, so well worth exploring those. And then if you look down, you've got mode three, four and five, which are your alphabets. So you've got upper and lower case in a block lettering. You have got upper and lower case in European, so accented European letters. You've also got Cyrillic, and then you've got a monogramming function. So you can do up to seven millimeter monogramming, uh, capital letters and numbers. Just a fabulous, fabulous machine. We'll be looking at that in more depth over the following week. All right, we're gonna to go to a little break. When we come back, Emma Bradford's here with the first of two hours. She'll be using this machine and we'll be having some great fun together. So I'll see you after this. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from 10 pounds to 500 pounds. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. 
Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Sound Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. What's that? Christmas bells in July? That can only mean one thing. Christmas comes to Sewing Street. Oh, Chloe, that wasn't in the script. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the home page, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Join us this Monday here on Sewing Street for the launch of Christmas in July. We've got some fantastic brand new launches to share with you, including Liberty's brand new Deck the Halls range. We've got Delphine Brooks joining us with her exclusive stag panel and a Santa sack. And we've even got a special yarn lane just for Christmas. For all of these great Christmas projects and so much more, make sure you join us here on Sewing Street this Monday for Christmas in July. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Oh, wonderful to have your company this morning. My goodness me. Uh, a lovely message to start the hour from Christine, who says, welcome back, gorgeous Emma Bradford. Oh, bless you. Thank you, Christine. Hi. Hey, Emma. So good to be back. It feels it's, like ages. It doesn't feel like ages. It is it ages. It is ages. <laughs> May? Yeah, yeah. Too long. It is way too long. Too long. But yeah. you've been on a lovely holiday to Toulouse. I have. That was back in March. Yes. Yeah, oh, no I way. Yeah, that was back in March. Is that 
Well, then I that's know. the last time I saw you. I know, that was way, that was way longer. Emma, they've been keeping us apart, but today we are back together again. We've got yep. a fabulous two hours with Emma, loads to get through. Did just want to mention as well, Christian had messaged in the break saying, Stuart, wondering if Sewing Street are going to get any more cover stitch machines in. I have good news for you, Christine. Check this out. Uh, lovely Hannah has put it into the show this morning. So you can find it nice and easily. There it is, the Elna Easy Cover 669. We're not doing it today, but Christine, as you asked, we've put it into today's show. So if you go onto the website and look at this hour, you'll find it, right? Yeah. So awesome, just for you and for anybody else who wants a cover stitch machine. All right, super, glad we could do that for you. Right, we're gonna get started. Now we've got two books in this hour. I'm going to introduce them both to you to start with and then we're actually going to have a proper look together, aren't yeah, we, yeah. Emma? So we've got two books. We're going to start with Conscious Crafts Quilting, 20 Mindful Makes to Reconnect Head, Heart and Hands. Uh, now, there's lots of lovely projects in the book and they're all kind of hand sewn, mindful, hand quilting, hand piecing, lovely, a lot of them recycling as mm -hmm. well. Some beautiful, very tasteful and quite modern looks as well, but also quite traditional. And then you've also got a plethora of techniques and know-how and tips for every quilter. So whether you're a brand new quilter, whether you're a really experienced quilter, beautiful. Maybe you've never done hand piecing, hand quilting before, and you want to get into that. It's a beautiful little book. It's great quality as well, and great value. It's hard bound, um, really nice quality book, beautifully put together, and lovely. I'm looking in detail uh, later with Emma, but just a beautiful, beautiful book with loads of lovely illustrations, lots of very inspiring photographs and lots of lovely little projects in there too. And I think would be a great um, addition to your sort of scrap busting oh, yeah. pile because there's lots of great scrap busting ideas in here. Look at those. You're gonna learn how to do the quilting look. Baptist fan, beautifully done. Lots of techniques that you can take and use for other projects. Lots about repurposing fabric, free form patchwork. You know, how to get the most out of your scraps, your bits and pieces, and maybe non-traditional fabrics as well. Things mm -hmm. like denim yep. as well in there, some wool. <coughs> some upholstery weight fabrics as well. So, <coughs> excuse me, a great addition to your quilting library. Really great, love that. So that's our first book. It's twelve ninety nine, which seems like superb value as well. Um, love the little write up on the back. She says, uh, learn how to create beautiful modern makes through the rhythmic process of stitching in this joyful craft book, covering basic techniques and celebrating sustainability through mending and repurposing. I'm sold, this is lovely. Uh, Eli Bevan, Ellie Bevan, sorry. Ellie Beaven provides ideas for 20 quilted designs. But this is for 12 99 folks. This is fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, with clear step-by-step -step instructions, each project is accompanied by clear, clean photography, contemporary illustrations, and life-affirming mindful quotes. From cushions to coasters, quilts to wall hangings, there's plenty to enrich your home and your well-being. I think that's gorgeous. It is. It is really nice. And it's a very much of a taking a deep breath and just enjoying the process of sewing. So yeah. there's nothing manic about this book at right. all. It is really just a, I'm really going to enjoy the process yeah. of putting this thing together. Yeah. And it is, like you said, repurposing uh, bedding, clothes, all sorts. So you don't have to. You can use absolutely new fabrics as well. Yeah. It is very much incorporating the old and the new basically. I really like that. Yeah. I really like that. Yeah. And it just, oh yeah. I'm already feeling that sense of calm. It's just lovely, yeah. isn't it? And just no speed piecing techniques, no strip piecing, no race to the finish, which is what yeah. so often we're doing. Yeah. Just calm, quiet, take it easy. 
I'm imagining a cup of tea would be involved. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sitting down, relaxing. Mm -hmm. Maybe the radio on in the background. Yeah. Maybe sitting in the garden. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love a bit of stitching in the garden. Me too. Yeah. Me oh, too. I hear the birds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love all that. I yeah. love all that. It's also, I think this is really nice too, in the back. It's got some techniques for mending and patching, which is so, so on trend, mm -hmm. but also so important as well. In a, we're becoming less of a throwaway society, don't you think? Yeah, I think so, definitely. I mean, I last year I had a, a sort of a a rule I was not going to buy any new clothes last year okay. so I either made what I needed or patched what I, what I had already yeah and um, yeah I've actually got a hoodie that I really love that's got a few patches in it now needs in a couple more or even stains yes. so if you've got a stain on something you can actually just either embroider something over it or mm -hmm. there's some nice techniques in here with um, laying fabric on top of a patchwork already or quilted bit and then oh. doing sashiko oh I like that so it's, it's like applique applique yeah but you don't have to sew down the edges you just literally just quilt over the top i like that yeah sort of like a borrow technique yeah yeah, yeah. love that and you I get love those lovely when you wash it you get those lovely frayed edges around mm. the edge and it softens and it's sort yeah. of obvious deliberate mending yeah it's what it's all about this is mm -hmm. lovely i really recommend this book actually the more i flick through it the more beautiful i can see it is mm -hmm. um this is a bit sort of you know publisher nerdy thing but the <laughs> the matte pages oh yeah are just nice. lovely the clean photography yeah it is nice no and dirty it's... corners here we're gonna have a proper look through this in just a second but yeah really love that beautiful um, now there's lots of sashko in that book lots of um big stitch quilting lots mm -hmm. of hand quilting and um, for that i have a rather lovely set of sashko essentials threads um they aren't necessarily the Sashko traditional skeins. This is more stuff you can use in your machine. You can hand stitch with this as well. Um, you've got six different colours. Do we have the open one of this or? Mm, maybe not, but um, I'll open it. Yeah, I'll open it. Let's have a look inside. Ooh, it's like a like new box of crayons you're talking about. Mm. That's equivalent to that new box of crayons. Oh, it really is. <laughs> is isn't that exciting? Do you love that? Yeah. yeah. So, <coughs> so you've got kind of traditional white. These are thicker threads as well. So you can use these by hand. You can use these in your machine as well. You've got that white. They're 12 weight, so they're nice and thick. Oh, yeah. They're lovely. So um, you can hand stitch with these for sure. Just use them single. So you've got your white. You've got a solid red. You've got variegated kind of... Um, I don't know, fire colours, okay. oranges, golds, yellows. You've got this gorgeous, vibrant leaf green. Loads of energy in that. You've got this beautiful cobalty blue and a deep aubergine purple. Ooh. Hand stitching, hand applique. You can use them in a sewing machine. What I would recommend is that you put them in the bobbin and then sew from reverse. Ah, okay, yeah, you can you can do it that way. So you can use a 40 weight in the bobbin. You can use this in the top. Don't use it top and bottom. But usually if I'm using really thick threads, I'll wind the bobbin up. Mm -hmm. I'll use a thinner thread on the top, but I'll have the right side of my fabric facing down so that the bobbin thread is effectively the top thread. But experiment, experiment. And it's really cool to try combining machine sewing and hand sewing in the same project. Lovely. Now we've also got Sashko needles. If you want to do that hand stitching, you need that large eye for the thicker threads and a nice long needle as well is yes. good for Sashko, isn't it? So here's the pack, $5.99. You get um, four different sizes, eight needles in total. And they're clover, so they're wonderful. <laughs> Love clover. Now then, the other book that we've got today is called <coughs> Quick and Easy Quilt Block Builder. Lots of you have already bought this on pre-order. It, it comes from a set, doesn't it? There's a series. Um, 
Emma, tell me about this. Oh, <laughs> I love, love it. I love this book. Yeah. I love this book. And I think every quilter has needs this in their library. So this book uh, essentially gives you the building blocks to make quilt blocks. Love so that. every quilt block is broken down into little units. And depending whether it's a flying geese unit or a four patch unit or a half square triangle unit, mm -hmm. it's all made up of that. Yep. But the lovely thing about this book is that it, one, it tells you how to make all of those units, or it shows you how to make all those different units. Um, but she gives you several different techniques to do yeah. the same thing. Yeah. Because not everybody loves the same, doing things the same way Agreed. or it doesn't work for them. Agreed. So that's one thing I loved. So you've got ma many different ways to make the same type of unit. Mm -hmm. And then she also gives you um, the patch sizes, so the cutting guide for different sized units. Mm -hmm. So if you want to make a half square triangle, for instance, you've got one right here, you can do six inch, eight inch, 12 inch. They're smaller than that, but it tells you exactly the size shapes that you need to cut. It's a huge amount of value in this book, it isn't is. there? It is. There's so much information. It's a, it's a small book, but mm -hmm. it is packed with jam -packed. so much. It's jam-packed with all the essential stuff, isn't it? Yes. Because you've got loads of patterns, probably, loads of books with designs in, but this is the methods. And also, yeah. uh, one thing I really love about this, Emma, is that because it's just been written, it's a modern book, it's got lots of new techniques that won't be in older, older books. books. For example, um, it's got things like um, magic eight half square triangles. This is a new technique. Yes. This has only been around for a short Actually, time. Actually, that's one of the ones I'll be demonstrating. Awesome. Yeah. Four at a time half square triangles, using a grid to make half square triangles. Yep. Um, things like using, doing foundation piece to half square triangles yes. as well. Um, that's just a small part of what this book offers. Mm -hmm. It is a real skill builder and lots and lots of um, blocks in here as well in multiple sizes as you mentioned it's 24 I counted them amazing <laughs> amazing yeah love that yeah a third of the stocks already gone it's a great buy isn't it actually it is. both books together are full of techniques tips they cover different areas you might be thinking why do I need five different ways to make a half square triangle it really depends what fabric you're working with mm -hmm. and what you're trying to make as the end result right it absolutely is so what is your how much fabric do you actually have are you using scraps or are you using new yeah um, some people I mean like we said with the conscious quilting sewing should be fun and a pleasure mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you may find you may do a certain technique of making a, a unit and you think oh I don't really like that but try different ways yeah. because you might find a different way of making that same unit is actually a lot more pleasurable yes. than doing many at a time. For so that particular block. Yes. Yeah. Over 40 of these in baskets. There is this little bit of queue on the phone lines as well. Apologies for that. Just hang in there. We'll get there. Um, but it's a busy morning. So thanks. And just beautiful books, both of them actually, for, for different reasons and some of the same reasons, but actually not the same things in each book. No. This is very mindful, hand stitching, recycling, repurposing, uh, great compendium of techniques as well. Even things like how to layer a quilt, how to layering, bind a quilt. Different ways of layering. So like you've got that. your pins, you've got your spray basting, you've got your hand sewing yeah. basting, different ways of doing binding. Oh, awesome. We'll yeah. go through all that together, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Love it. Couple of good mornings to say. Catherine, morning everyone. Just awake, convinced oh. it was a Sunday. Oh. Put Sewing Street on, realised it was Saturday. Yay, bonus. And also National Cowboy Day. I know, you yes, said, oh, I've actually, I came, well, I got surprised by some cowboys, if I say that. <laughs> uh, well, well, I had lived in America hello, for a little hello. while. Yeah. Uh, and you do see the, the cowboys, the, you know, the wear the stuff yeah. and, and drive the trucks, but you don't know whether they're actually real ones. Mm -hmm. But I actually went to see my uncle in Arizona yeah. and we had uh, gone out in the middle of nowhere to have a picnic next to the river. And then what comes along but proper cowboys on horses. I love it. Getting their, their cows or whatever it was that they were rounding up. I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh, be still my beating heart. Yes. It's all about what you wear, isn't it? Yeah. Thanks, Steph. Steph's got in touch. Morning, Stuart. What a beautiful shirt. And we're back to the shirt. Anything Oriental always looks so classy. It suits you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a lot of controversy about I love the shirt. Your shirt. Thank you. Energetic. Yeah. Red. It's red's a lucky colour, right? 
I think so. Yeah. I think so. I'm going to bring... Oh, come. Let's talk about Conscious Crafts oh, Quilting. Oh, yes. um, Because it's got so many new techniques in it, hasn't it? And traditional in. techniques in, but all explained. And they're often things we don't get time to talk about or explain oh, yeah. on Sewing Street. Mm -hmm. Yep. So if we start at the beginning, mm -hmm. she literally, and actually this will be a perfect book for either a beginner or as a gift for a beginner or somebody who has never sewn as a gift because this will literally get them into it. A great project for children over the holidays yeah. as well. It is, that's nice a great idea. Yeah. I like that, I like that. Yeah, lots of small projects, lots of hand sewn projects mm -hmm. that would be, especially for the tweens yes. as well, who were so difficult to know what to do with. There was no how to entertain young children, older children entertain themselves. Yeah, but that in between nine, 10, age. 11. Yeah, difficult it's age. It is, it is. Difficult age. Yep. So it does give you an overview of basic tools that you need. And mm -hmm. I actually like this list because it doesn't overcomplicate things. This really is your basics. Yeah, yeah. No, absolutely agree with you there. Yeah. And I just spotted something there, oh, I don't okay. know if you saw oh, it. Oh, it's the same. But look. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly the same. It is the same da -da -da. thread that they recommend. Yeah, there we so, go. Yeah. That was a coincidence. But I don't believe in consequent in um, consequences. <laughs> I don't believe in consequences. Okay. I don't believe in coincidences. <laughs> we'll was, talk about that later. <laughs> I think so. I'm going to shut up now. Um, yeah, because I think sometimes you open up a, a beginning quilting book and you see all the tools that you could possibly need, and it does get a bit overwhelming. Like, mm. oof. Do I really want to invest that much in all right. everything? And then yeah. you buy it and you realize you don't actually need it or mm -hmm. you don't enjoy using it. So that's a good list, I think. Um, hand sewing techniques. So a running stitch, so literally going back to basics. Yeah. It explains what a quilt back is, how to press seams, pressing, pressing them open, pressing them to the side, um, wadding, Mm -hmm. um, taking care of so making your label. It's often the things that we feel like we're supposed to already know yeah. that maybe we don't and we're too afraid to ask. Yes. This book's got it all. It does, it does. So it really takes you back to basics. Mm -hmm. um, how to make the quilt sandwich, what the quilt sandwich is composed of, um, hand basting your quilt, um, spray, spray basting. Spray basting, I like that. Um, pin basting. Mm -hmm. And then the binding, so traditional binding with the double fold. Uh, but then also she does do, oh, finishing it off on the back. I saw she does, where well, you can take the backing and use that as binding. Oh yeah. So how to fold that over as well. I like that well. technique. Mm -hmm. I like that technique. Yeah. That works really well. Well, actually for machine quilting, if you do it on the domestic as well, but um, hand quilting, that mm -hmm. really lends itself well for that. Yeah, yeah. Hand piecing. Uh, quilting, hand quilting, and how to uh, join your threads. So mm -hmm. when you get to the end of a thread, how to join it, mm -hmm. so you don't stop. So you've got lovely pictures. For yeah, the, the those illustrations of us who are, are super, yeah. aren't they? So I'm very visual, so I would literally just flick through the pictures, maybe mm -hmm. go to this text where I want a bit more explanation. Yeah. But then if you're a text person, you've got all the text there, mm. and maybe a picture to refer to if you need it. Yeah, so it's, it's a lovely little sort of pick up and take what you want from mm -hmm. book, isn't it? You yeah. know, you could have a little five minute read, a couple of pages, yep. you know, it's, it's full of information. Third of the stock's already gone. Oh, wow. It's a great little book, this. How to mark your quilt for quilting. Oh, this is cool. So how to make a Baptist fan template yeah. to mark those arcs. Now, I use Baptist fan a lot in my yeah. quilting. I love I it. Like that. It's traditional and modern. Yeah, I don't yeah, know how. it is. <laughs> but, yeah. but this shows you how to mark it yeah. for either machine or hand quilting. I yeah. love that. Yeah. And yeah. then how to do it so you don't have to. So it gives you the directions on how to do it without stopping, yeah. essentially. Really lovely. We never have time for these things. We always say quilt is desired, don't we? Yeah. Which is a bit of a cop out. It is. But it's great it's to have a book that has these suggestions yeah. in. Um, your freeform patchwork. So literally, oh. Sorry. Yeah, no, readjust there as we needed. Go. Perfect. Ooh, perfect. Perfect. That's it. Freeform. So I know a lot of people are very scared of freeform, actually. Yeah. Because they're, they're used to having a pattern and yes. knowing what to 
what to expect at the end. Mm -hmm. um, free form is very liberating. So any yeah. scrap, especially if you've got like strippy scraps like mm -hmm. they've got here, literally just just have a go. So this is like that kind of, um, what do they call it now? We, we Back in the day, we used to call it liberated piecing. Oh, okay. But I don't know, is it... Uh, like spontaneous kind of, I don't oh. know there's a name for it. Somebody, somebody help me out here. Yeah, somebody will tell us. <laughs> I know there's that one quilter, uh, Full English. Yeah, yeah he Chris does a lot. English, yeah. There we go, he does a lot of that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, beautiful. And then we've actually got lots of projects in this book as well, haven't yes. we? Yes, so it gives you all your basics at the beginning, repurposing fabric, but then look, you start off with like a really nice little quilted coaster, so mm. really simple. Mm. Perfect kids project yeah, it is. to get them started. Yeah. Easily done in a day or a morning. Uh, and it just builds up from there really. So you've got mm. a trivet, so a little bit bigger coaster. Like that. Yep. And there's some beautiful quilts in here, actually. I might steal some ideas. Mm. Needle book. Mm. Remember back in the day you used to make needle books? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm seeing lots of projects to make over the yeah. summer holidays. Uh, a little bag. It's a little but storage that's nice. basket. And all hand sewn as well. Yep. So if you're thinking, you know, either you're going away in the caravan yes. or going away on holiday, going on a boating holiday, something like that, you think, I want to have something to, to do. do. Something like, you can't really take a sewing machine. No, but you can do a lot of hand, ah. hand stuff. Yeah. And maybe, and we always say EPP, but it's not for everyone. No, I actually have never tried EPP. <laughs> I just get just, out. I know. <laughs> get out. I know. Get me Jenny Jackson. I know. I'm well, sorry. Then it's not for everyone. Well, I do love hand piecing. I just do it a different way. Yes. Well, it's not the only hand piecing yep. technique, but sometimes it's easy to think it is. This book's got it all. Yes. Yeah. Which is really nice. These are lovely. Pencil cases, or it could be a makeup case. Yeah. Brush case. You can get my makeup in them. <laughs> me neither. That's <laughs> a suitcase size. <laughs> yeah. Um, put in, what put is in it Johnny zip. Parton says? It takes a lot of money to make a person look this cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love, I love that. that. I love Dolly Parton. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. So oh. even things like putting the zips in, done putting by hand. In. So you can do that by hand. Oh, yeah. See, this is that oh. layered sashiko. Yeah, yeah. Which is really nice. Yeah. Actually. And for works well for, like you said, mending. Yes. Let me just skip a little bit because a lot of bags, little bits, but there are bigger projects. So there are quilts in here too. Right. As you get to the back. There's a lot in a yeah. little book. Cushion. When you think 12 99 that's yeah. cool. Yeah. And there's some great ideas. I little like that. Free form. I yeah. like that. That's really the nice. Waste not, want not, cushion. Yeah. That's, that's really gorgeous. Nice. And how to do the back. Mm-hmm. There we go. You know, when you think about it, most of our standalone patterns here on Sewing Street are 9 99 yeah. and sometimes they are 12 99 and they represent great value. Great value. This is 12 99 for, for 20 projects? I think so. so I think 20 that's... projects? 20 projects and all of those techniques. And what's lovely about this is these are different because it's all hand sewn. It is. Yeah. Oh, definitely log cabin. Yeah, a log cabin. I love a log cabin. Yes. There's one in here. There was one quote in here I will show you. It's a lovely log cabin that is right down my alley. That's also nice. It is. Very we might simple. need to keep this book. Yeah, it's a very in simple. In the studio. That. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. That I love. That's really lovely. Add Astra quilt. Yeah. That is beautiful. And that's a bit of freeform piecing as well, isn't it? Wonky stars. Yeah. They're not the traditional kind of very very symmetrical no they're just a little bit a little wonky. bit on the skew yeah. yeah a little bit on the wonk yeah but again hand sewn yeah beck says morning y'all morning big happy cowboy day i'm a total <laughs> cowboy i ride western and get my cowboy boots from the u.s nice. saddling up for another great show today yee -haw. <laughs> love that are you drinking raw whiskey it's bourbon isn't it is it bourbon bourbon oh i don't yeah. know <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wall hangings. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. And I love the colours in them. They're all very, yeah. they're very me. They're very muted. Muted like and it. subtle, like aren't yeah. they? Very me. Yeah. Muted. You wish. <laughs> 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 I love that. Yeah, isn't that? That's go How simple is it's that? It's so clever. Yeah. It's so clever. 
And I think there's so many ideas. That's one thing I love about books is you get so many ideas. You may not mm. make that particular project, mm, but you'll mm, take mm, that mm. idea mm. and then incorporate it into something else. Well, that is a quilting idea. Just a little cross stitch yeah. every now and then in a regular grid. Yeah. Over half the stock's gone. It's absolutely gorgeous. Got a question. Ooh. A question. Is freeform the new name for crazy patchwork, which I love the idea oh. of doing. Yeah, kind of, similar. Yeah. yeah, it's a more modern take on on crazy quilting, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a variation on a theme. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. it's all good, isn't it? Yeah. God, I think for oh. twelve ninety nine, why would you not have this book in your library? Yeah. No, this is, and I think this will, Very like you said, because it's so modern. I think this will really appeal. Yeah. To those teenagers, those tweens, even young adults. I want that. Yeah. I'm a young adult. Yeah. But I'm 16 inside all, all the time. Exactly. I'm just stuck at 16. Exactly. <laughs> I'm appalled every birthday to find out how old I actually am. It's wrong. I forget. I'm, I've kind of lost count. I just, I'm like, well, was it? Was it in South Korea recently? They changed the the numbering system or something so that everyone oh. became a year younger. Oh, nice. Because there, when you're born, you're one. When oh. you're born, you're one. So they've changed it now to be in line with the rest of the world. So everyone is younger. And you're younger. Oh. So some people, I guess, were able to legally drink one day and not the next. Oh. Downside. I guess it'd be a downside if you're retiring and then <laughs> you've got to do another year. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ups oh, and downs, peaks yes. and troughs, who knows, but yeah. yeah. You're, so you're yeah. as old as you feel. I agree, I completely agree. Which in some case, you know, sometimes it's like a hundred, <laughs> a thousand. Or well, my husband, we always joke, is either eight or eighty. Right. He's either completely childish or really old and grumpy. There's nothing in between. I love that. I love that. Which are you today, dear? Yeah. Eight or eighty. <laughs> uh, such a beautiful, beautiful book. It's just gorgeous. A, a great hand stitching resource, a great quilting resource, because actually even if you only mach uh, machine sew your quilts, you've still got loads of really, really useful ideas in there. And of course, anything that you can hand sew, you can machine sew yep. too, right? Yep. Gorgeous. Yep. Now, I just want to recap a few other bits and bobs before we look at the next book. We'll recap the threads to start with. These are the Essential Sashko Collection. These are Aurifil and just gorgeous. Actually featured in the book, um, you get, they're all 12 weight threads. So they're a thicker, heavier thread. You can hand sew with these. You can machine sew with these. Um, you get that gorgeous kind of chartreuse green, a beautiful bright white, uh, red, amazing to quilt denim. Oh, yes. Yummy. Or chambres or yeah. linens. Um, a gorgeous cobalty blue, a variegated and lovely kind of flame colours, and then a really, really deep eggplant or aubergine. You get 325 metres on each spool. It's gorgeous. As I say, you can machine sew with this. Use a, maybe a 90 needle and you could either put it in the bobbin and then a lighter thread in the top and quilt from the back. Uh, or, well, you quilt from the, quilt with the right side of your fabric on the bottom. So you've got the back on the top so that your bobbin thread shows on the front of your quilt, yeah? Or hand stitch. One thousand nine hundred and fifty meters of one hundred percent cotton Sashko style thread. Just lovely. It's twelve weight, as I say. It's a thicker thread, great for embellishing and adding hand stitch detail. Or if on your machine you you can get um, like on the Elna six eighty plus, you get a mock hand quilting stitch. So you use a thicker thread and you use an invisible thread, like a YLI um, invisible thread, and it actually has the look of a running stitch when you stitch it. So you could use that wow. too. But I think the point of the book is slow stitching, yes. sit, relax, hand sew. Yeah, mend. See, I'm always looking for how can I speed this up? But actually <laughs> the point is slow down, relax. Yeah, enjoy take the process. Time. Yeah, yeah. We sometimes put ourselves under such a lot of pressure, don't we? We do to finish and get to the next thing. Now, um, also you might want some wadding. 
you might want some wadding. Uh, I've got 8020 here, which is my go-to for quilting. What about you, Emma? Yeah, I have a lot of good staple. Uh, I do also like the 5050 bamboo cotton. Oh yeah, bamboo cotton, that's beautiful lovely. Beautiful drape, yeah. beautiful drape. This is uh, 80 20, so this is 80% cotton, 20% polyester. If you've not tried it before, um, grab yourself half a meter. 5.99, it's 228 centimeters wide, which is 90 inches. And uh, you could use this for some small projects, some bags, some cushions, maybe small wearables. I actually use that if I'm hand quilting I'll use that or 100% cotton lovely uh, and I don't actually baste because I find that the wadding holds the fabric in place it kind of almost sticks to it yeah so especially for small projects I think you'd be good to go maybe a pin or two here or there cotton if you to really cotton. Yeah. yeah 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 it's really nice agree absolutely yeah it's a really good tip really good tip uh, beautiful it's lovely quality it's very very easy to hand stitch or machine stitch you can quilt this up to about eight inches apart. But why would you? Enjoy the process. Quilt yeah, close. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Now then, Emma, we've got another book. Oh, yes. Well, over half of that stock has gone. I'm going to head back over okay. to Emma. So this is called Quick and Easy Quilt Block Builder. Yeah. Now, I need to let you know, when everyone's checked out, we've got fewer than 30 of these books left. So there aren't that many more chances to get this book into your collection. And it's a cracking book. It's a resource book, Emma. It is. And I think this, uh, as well as what we were talking about earlier, of all the lovely things you can do with it, you could also, if you've got a pattern that you really love, a quilt pattern that you really mm -hmm. love, um, but it's either too big or too small, you can either scale it up mm -hmm. or scale it down using this this book okay cool because yeah, you can make smaller smaller blocks bigger blocks bigger units smaller units and it just works everything out it's understanding the principles isn't it yes so any block is made up of smaller units I'll just put this in here so I don't lose that <coughs> and she essentially has sort of broken it down to four patches or nine patches mm -hmm. uh, half square triangles and they're friends so things similar <laughs> quarter square triangles mm -hmm. uh, flying geese and equivalents yeah or squares and squares and some uh, special spiky peaks and more yes now techniques. I like that she's included that because once you get past the basic and some people quilt their whole lives with these units and mm -hmm. make fabulous quilts there's a lot, an awful lot you can do. But some of these, like yeah. um, half rectangle triangles, these kind of tall triangles, peaky and spike, things like this kind of kite shape, partial seams. Yeah, which is how I actually, a lot of times, put my borders on. Okay, really? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Uh, once you learn these techniques, suddenly it opens up a whole new lot mm -hmm. of quilt blocks yeah. and quilt possibilities, doesn't it? It does. So, if I go to the four patch, um, it may be a bit too simple, but we'll, we'll carry on. So it gives you the basics of how to make four patch. Mm -hmm. You can either do four squares together, yeah. or you can do strips together. Mm -hmm. So you'll sew two sets of strips, which I will do, and then cut them down mm -hmm. and then put them together. Um, and on top of that, she gives you a block to make from both of those units, yeah. basically. So you've got a block here already on the first page mm -hmm. to use these two units. But even there on the very first page, look, what a nested seams. This is yep. essential. Um, strip piecing, we often talk about this, like everybody knows what strip piecing is, but not everyone does. No. Or some of us only knew what strip piecing was mm -hmm. and we didn't know that we could make these same units from individual pieces. It's a bit like sewing half square triangles from triangles. Yes. Lots of quilters have never done that. Yeah. But there are reasons why we might. Yeah, yeah. So your nine patch, how to do a nine patch, um, what are twirled seams, so when you're pressing your seams open, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of nice tips and blocks on the bottom of the page every time. These could really elevate <coughs> your quilts, couldn't they? Yes. If you're not getting the results you want, this is a great book to actually go right back to basics. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I think this is definitely 
work through it. I get some lovely little fat quarters yeah. uh, to have a play around with yeah. and just try every single technique. And I like yeah. that a lot. Don't ever think that this would be a backward step for you. Whatever your level of experience, would you agree? Mm -hmm. Don't ever think it's a backward step to go right back to basics because there can be pivotal moments that we just missed. Yeah. Or we, we, you understand them better, or there's a newer technique which is better for you. Exactly, because I find that, well, not, every, not a lot of them, but there are some quilters that will learn how to quilt from going to a class mm -hmm. and learning to make a particular quilt. Yeah. Um, and they will have used a particular technique to make the blocks mm -hmm. and the units. But there's such a huge world of possibilities of how to, different ways of doing the same thing, yeah. that you may have done that, you're like, oh, I don't think quilting's for me because I really right. struggled with that bit. But there's another way of doing it that you might absolutely love. It's true. Every quilter, every group, every teacher has their own experience and their own ways of doing things, which is wonderful. And it is also a reason why we should keep on learning looking yeah because there are other things that we don't know about yeah, other yeah, techniques yeah, yeah. you know that that could completely revolutionize or yeah. change how you sew yep love that so the other thing that she does on here which i absolutely love is so for a nine patch or four patch she's giving you different sizes mm -hmm. from four inches finished to 12 inches finished Great. so very small to very big and she tells you the size of the strip or the patch size that you need to make that size. Love that. So you can literally design a whole quilt and work out your patches and everything mm -hmm. from this book, essentially. So for 1099, this could be the only resource you ever need to design your own quilts and projects. Yep. Love that. Yep. Money well spent. I, I completely agree. So half square triangles, like you said, two different ways. Fewer than 20 books left. So this is a good case in point. There's over 40 of these in baskets. We've only got less than 20 left. So, so you do need to check out your baskets. There's still time to get involved. There's still just under 20 books up for grabs. You could come in now and get yourself this book. Just wanted to point out this page, Emma, because oh, yeah. one of the things, and, and I've heard actually even like some of our designers that have come on, they're like, oh, Trian uh, half square triangles from triangles. Not, oh, I'm not sure about that. Why would I do that? But like, for example, here, mm -hmm. super scrappy. Yeah. Sometimes you can only get a triangle out of your scrap. Yeah. Or you want loads of different variety. You don't even want, say, like two uh, triangles the but same. The same, no. You so there are reasons yeah, why you do it. Yeah, yeah, every single unit will be different. Yeah. More and economical I'm... use of your fabric. Exactly. Love yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, the two at a time, uh, four at a time, eight at a time, which I will demonstrate that I one. I was going to say, will you show, will you show yeah, us yeah, one yeah. of these? I'll the show eights. you that one. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, what else have we got? Oh, squaring them up. Oh, actually, even half square triangles from strips. I've done that before. See, I've so never jelly done rolls. that before, so that's cool. Yeah. So that's really good use of jelly rolls for that. Can we see a technique in action? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah that'd yeah, be yeah. awesome. Okay. Let me do this one then, Magic 8. Mm-hmm. Um, let me see which one I have cut for that. Got big squares over here as well. Do you have big squares? That one is for something else. Put that there. Here we go. Lovely. Oh, ace. So I've got it all marked out already. So this is what you do. So you need to draw, and actually this is where, um, if you have those, oh, I've got to tell Anna, Hannah even um you know that little half inch ruler yes that i love yes <laughs> this is perfect with the for slot that. through the middle yes yeah. we'll grab one yeah we'll this grab is perfect one. That. i don't need it but if you do have it this is perfect for that because you need a half inch uh line on either side can you pass me my ruler yeah of course please? i will <clears throat> so i've done lines in all directions and this is where multi mat comes in really well mm. and handy as well for drawing your lines so what i did was i centered um, at the quarter of an inch line, the center, right down the middle, from mm -hmm. corner to corner, drew my line, flipped it over, did the same, mm -hmm. and did the same this way. So it's like there's an imaginary line going from corner to corner, and you've drawn a line a quarter of an inch either side. Yes, exactly. Gotcha. And then I have done uh, on the 
two sideways ones, but the, we're not sewing that. We're only going to sew the diagonal ones. Okay. So let me redo this. Sewing on the 680 plus. Some of you have already okay. got your 680 plus this morning. And a lovely message from Christine who says, thanks so much, Hannah. I got my cover stitch machine oh, thanks to you. Yay, oh, well done. So glad we could help you. Thank you. Oh, perfect. So these are the perfect, rulers you perfect. were talking about, right? Yes. These are perfect for this. So you can literally just centre. Actually, you can even just put the corner there, centre that, draw a line on either side. Great. Do it this way. Yeah, I love these half inch rulers. Yeah. Sp specifically for this or uh, the two at a time technique as well. Yes. Works really well because uh -huh. you need the same lines. I like to mark my sew lines mm -hmm. rather than Sometimes people do a line straight down the middle, then sew a quarter of an inch on mm -hmm. either side of that. But I like, I get confused when I do that. Right. Because if you do this technique and you do the other technique and you just do one line, yep. you're confused, which line do I sew on? Right. Which one do I cut? Yes. And you can run into a lot of problems that you way. You can indeed, you can indeed. So I just try so to keep it. So you're sewing on all the lines now, apart from the ones that divide it into quarters. Yes. Gotcha, all the diagonals. Yeah. Right, while Emma sews those, details on screen are for the 15 inch Creative Grids seam guide. That's what I've got in my hand right here. It's that 15 inch, most versatile really. You've got 15 inches in length. It's a half inch wide, so this is what you're going to line the slot up with the diagonal and then mark either side. The mistake I made with this when I first used one was I thought you were supposed to put your pencil into the slot to draw down the middle and of course you can't actually physically do that, it's too thick to do that, that's not what it's meant for. I didn't read the instructions Emma, <laughs> who does? Who no, does? I don't. You use either side, you might use sewing lines much more accurate really. There's a smaller version as well if you'd rather. This one is, mm, I want to say nine inches, yeah, nine inches, 14.99, same thing, mark either side, the quarter square, half square, flippy corners, things like that. You can also just use this as a small ruler, it's really useful to have a small ruler. Yeah, that actually, I might need that again okay. for the we'll flying geese, so yeah. No worries. Small rollers are very handy. So why is this technique called Magic 8, Emma? Because you get eight half square triangles. From one recipe? Yeah. I love that. But are all the edges on the bias? No. No? No. All proper? All proper. I love that. So this would be a really good technique if you're doing like a bear paw. Right. Because you do a lot of half square triangles for that. Huge numbers. Yeah. And we're not sewing on any bias edges. Nope. We're not having bias edges on the outside. Okay. So you've done it. Yep. So you've sewn on all of the diagonal lines, both directions. What mm -hmm. now? Now we cut, we cut down the diagonal mm -hmm. and then we cut each one in half as well. Great. So you're just going to do one, two, uh, three, four cuts. Wow. Oh, do we Book have sold a out. rotating yeah, cutting sorry, mat? I completely forgot. Uh, Is it one handy? Yes. Yes, just there oh, yeah, under the yeah, bin. Yeah. Oh. Perfect. Let me just unlock it for you. Oh, thank you. I always forget that bit. I do too. Fab. I remember for other people. <laughs> forget for myself. <laughs> The book's sold out, by the way. Well done if you managed to get yours. Brilliant resource, this. Absolutely brilliant resource. Yeah, yeah it's. We have got a few of the Conscious Crafts quilting book. Not many. Also a beautiful book. I thought that one would be the first to sell out, actually, because it's yeah. got 20 hand-sewn projects, projects, which I just think is cracking value. It is. For 12 99 But we do love our techniques. We do love our techniques. And there's so much, like I said, there's so much you can do and, and adjust. Oh, Susan's got in touch. Susan's got in touch Hi, to Susan. say, morning all. I messaged weeks ago about buying an overlocker. Well, I took Stuart's advice and bought one. Now I just have <gasps> to practice. Thanks, Stuart, for giving me the push I needed. Oh, you're welcome. I love my overlocker. It's a hand to hold. Do you? Yeah. Why? Um, well, I do do some clothes. Yeah. 
and um, it's a it's a godsend for that. Not so much woven, right? Unless you re-sew it again because they come apart. Mm -hmm. But yeah, for the jersey, and it's just so quick and easy. Yeah, it's so quick. So professional yes. results, gorgeous. Elizabeth says morning from a rainy Worcester. Yes. It's bright in here though. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, it's bright in here. here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's bright in here. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. We don't look outside. No. <laughs> bother. I just the thing is, I don't. You know, I'm not. I'm not always like it's summer. I've got to have sunshine. Oh. I don't feel that way. But it's just cold. It's very autumnal. It is, and it has. I have to admit, I've, it's felt that way. Uh, for a little while. For a little while. Yeah, but to be yeah. honest, that's my favourite time of year. Well, I love autumn too, I love autumn. but just not in the summer. Yeah, a little bit more summer would have been not nice. Not prepared for it. Not prepared for it. So we are. So you get those, and then you can trim them down to yep. the correct size. Yeah. Do you press your seams open? Um, it depends. I have discovered pressing seams open. Yeah, me too. Uh, and I love it. There's definitely times when pressing seams open is yep. the way to go. Kind of always works, doesn't it? Yeah. If all else fails, press them open. This um, is awesome. I love this technique. Yeah. Um, book's sold out, Emma. Oh, wow. The book's sold out. That's amazing. Well done, everyone You'll who love got it. theirs. You will love it. Love this. Um, so much you can do with a half square triangle. And I would say if, if, if you're somebody who is mass challenged or mm -hmm. it gets confused like that, but you know somebody who loves a puzzle yeah. and a mass puzzle, literally tell them, I want to make this block in this size, tell me what I need to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, it's a great book to go through and work out. Fab resource. Um, Emma's been using Tilda. Oh, I love Tilda. <laughs> Hometown, it's lovely. Yeah. It's Can't lovely. This one open. Got some little uh, bundles. Uh, 19 99 for a pack of five. That's the sage. That's what you were using, yeah. isn't it? I, ha I got one in the green and I got one in the red. Ooh, lovely. They're lovely. Um, just in the last couple of minutes, is do we have time just to have a quick look back at Conscious Crafts? Oh, yeah. Shall we? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Look at all those from one one recipe. I yeah. think that's awesome. Two seams. Well, then one, two, no, four seams. I'm going to have to try that. I'm going to have to try that method. Love yeah. it. Yeah. Right. You have your book. Okay. I've got mine. This is the book we started with. Yep. Oh, How yeah. many do we have left? Very, very few. Oh, less than 30 left. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just lovely. And that, I'm going to have to make that. That's going to have to go on my list. You're going to have to make it. I'm going to have to make it. I love the gradations. Yeah, and I love how you can, I mean, it's, it's, I love a scrappy quilt anyway. Yeah, yeah. But this is combines both, which is another thing that I really like in a scrappy quilt, where you can have some parts that are completely scrappy, but maybe you keep the colour theme the same. Yes. Or you have one fabric throughout that's the same. Love that. Yeah. Love that. I'm the same as you. I love scrappy, but I love some consistency as well mm -hmm. to make sense of the chaos. Yes. And that's perfect. Yeah. It does yeah. it in spades, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and I thought that this one was really pretty. clever. And they're very simple. I mean, yeah. you've got a, a triangle on each corner, but when yeah. you put them together, which I think is the magic with some blocks, yeah. when you put them all together, you get a, a tertiary design that comes up that you didn't know was going to happen. Gorgeous. Yeah. And look at that oh, perfect little baby quilt. I know, it's lovely. Yeah. Really nicely put together projects. Mm -hmm. And, and that's lots, a, yeah, sorry. sorry, I'm going to waffle no, on now. No, no please <laughs> but do. But that design, <clears throat> because not everybody as much as we love quilts, not everybody loves a traditional quilt. No, it's but true. But that is a nice combination of modern and simple, mm. and you could make it as fussy and quilty as you mm. want, mm. or you can make it as plain and modern as you'd like. This is it. I mean, this is done very simply in kind of shades of, well, almost like slate mm -hmm. and grey, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But you could do this in multicolour, rainbow colours, or pinks, or yeah. blues. Imagine if you had a nice light flowery tilde yep. background yep. and some solid triangles that to make it lovely. stand out. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Um it just reminded us, Emma, this morning how important it is to have good resources. Yes. Yeah. Good books in our library. Mm -hmm. Talking of good resources in our library, mm -hmm. you're back at eleven yep. with three rulers yeah. from Creative Grids. 
they were fun they were Absolutely fun to play with <laughs> really cool yeah. and so good to be able to see can we just see the picture of the double wedding ring this is on my list to make yes this is on everyone's list. This is the double wedding ring. You're going to show us how oh. to make this, right? Yes, yeah. I am. Yeah. You want to that, see that? Oh. That was okay. like a demand, wasn't it? You're going to show us how to make this, aren't you? <laughs> I am. <laughs> yeah. Or else. <laughs> At 11 o'clock. Yeah. I'll stay tuned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. No, I love this way. And uh, with the rulers, you can do it. Um, you can actually do a normal piece. Um, from the Judy Niemeyer, who's the one who designed the rulers. Mm -hmm. She does a paper piecing pattern of a double wedding ring and you can use it in conjunction with that to get perfect arcs and perfect shapes Sounds or perfect you can me. use it as it is which I loved awesome yeah love that that's coming up at 11 all right I'll see you in an hour okay Thank you. and I'll see you in a couple of minutes after this John here at Sewing Street we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better that's why on certain items we have split pay so with the split pay depending on the price of the item you can split the cost twice three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Join us this Monday here on Sewing Street for the launch of Christmas in July. We've got some fantastic brand new launches to share with you, including Liberty's brand new Deck the Halls range. We've got Delphine Brooks joining us with her exclusive stag panel and a Santa sack. And we've even got a special yarn lane just for Christmas. For all of these great Christmas projects and so much more, make sure you join us here on Sewing Street this Monday for Christmas in July. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. What's that? Christmas bells in July, that can only mean one thing. Christmas comes to Sewing Street. Oh, Chloe, that wasn't in the script. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too.
Hi there, uh, Christmas in July starts next week. Don't say I didn't tell ya. Uh, we'll be ho ho hoing with reindeer and there'll be a special yarn lane on Monday to celebrate Christmas in July. Delphine's in with brand new projects as well. We've got a brand new Liberty range, Deck the Halls. We've got our jingle bells ready. Have you got your jingle bells ready? You've got till Monday. There's a beautiful badge as well sporting it today now this hour we're talking tim holtz got some beautiful fabrics absolutely gorgeous fabrics starting with one of my favorite ranges that tim's ever done now i love his kind of grungy weathered worn looking designs but this one is all about celebrating beautiful pure intense color it's called alchemy and uh, when I first got my hands on this range, I threw myself all in and made a gorgeous quilt called Alchemy. Um, you can see that on my social media. Um, I have a bundle here of six half meters. Half a meter of this is free. So you're paying for two and a half meters but you're actually getting three meters home. Now, uh, six different colors, a gorgeous rainbow of intensity. Let me show you what each fabric looks like. They are incredible. They are absolutely incredible. They look like sort of the contents of a cauldron or lava, yeah, or the surface of Mars. They're sort of planetary. They're uh, kind of chemical. They're just beautiful sort of swirling. Um, I think probably these have come from Tim's inking techniques, ink on wet paper or ink kind of swirling together. Um, you can almost kind of see those droplets, but the print quality is exceptional and all of those different shades. So although this one is sort of predominantly oranges and rusts you've also got some golden yellow in there you've got a little touch of green you've got a little bit of hot pink as well and of course that black which is almost like smoke on the water isn't it um, it's all designed to have that sort of distressed appearance that sort of i don't know subtle variations of color light and dark you just love this here it's almost like i don't know a nebula looking into space it's absolutely gorgeous um just show you the six colors that you're getting so you get that beautiful deep rusty orange you get this incredible vibrant fuchsia pink geodes gemstones I'm seeing all of that, absolutely. This next one is the golden yellow. Um, I can't wait to get that one fully open and show you, it's Im immense, just amazing. Um, vibrant green, there is a turquoise, but again, you'll see in there, there's green, green there's blue, there's purple, there's violet. And then last of all, in your little section there, you've got the deep purple. Uh, Elizabeth's got in touch to say fire in the sky, isn't it? It's absolutely full of fire. Or are you sending us a warning? Don't say that. No, it is. It's incredible, isn't it? Absolutely. Breaking news, there's fire in the sky. No, it's just amazing, isn't it? It's so, so beautiful. This would mix really well with some gray Essex linen. Little bits of this, lots of the gray, lovely modern striking quilt. Just beautiful, beautiful. Quarter of the stock of the bundle's gone. Now this is how you get your half a meter for free, buying the bundle because you're paying 42.45, you're getting half a meter for free, pick your favorite one, that's the one you're getting for free. Um, and you, so you're getting three meters of fabric for the price of two and a half, which is fabulous. This would work really well in my Galleria quilt pattern, by the way, which is a variation on what I did originally with this. Should we do them by the half meter? Where would you like to start? Let's start with the red, let's do it, let's do it. 
so I'll just open it out so you can see so this is really sort of fiery molten lava so many different shades and colors in one piece of fabric even one half a meter gives you a huge amount of beautiful color it would look amazing as a binding actually um Fran says, how on earth is there any of this fabric still available? I fell lucky. You're absolutely right. It's true, isn't it? Well, we managed to restock it, Fran. This, when we had it, first of all, it sold out so fast. We've only just been able to restock, but there's less than 15 metres left. It's, uh, it's not a lot at all. Yeah, I mean, when you look at a thinner strip of that, look at all that amazing colour in there, in just a thin strip. So if this was an accent, if this was a binding, there's so much movement, there's so much energy, isn't there? Ah, Elizabeth saying fire in the sky, deep by deep purple. Smoke on the water. Keep up, Hannah. <laughs> Thank you for bringing a little culture to our morning, Elizabeth. Thank you. We need a little bit of that. We need a little bit of that. There's so much colour in there, isn't there? So many different. There's lime, there's a lemony yellow, there's pink, black, as well as all these different oranges and reds. Lots of energy. It's my favourite colour to use in quilts, orange beautiful all right next one the pink yeah so again just look at all that color in there limited stock on all of these by the way they are lush elaine says lush colors absolutely gorgeous uh, elizabeth says they all need to be dresses i like that a lot you could stretch these over a canvas, staple them to the back, have them on the wall as a piece of art. You could use these as a base for embroidery and embellishment. You could paint on top of these. Art quilts, beautiful. They would also make the most incredible linings for something simple like a denim bag or, uh, you know, something like that, where you're just using very sort of utility fabrics on the outside, but then something really exciting and vibrant inside. Uh, Fiona's got in touch to say, or is it Margaret? Uh, Hi Stuart, such a coincidence, my alchemy and gallery pattern have just arrived. Margaret in Leeds, fantastic. Are you combining the two? Are you doing a gallery quilt with alchemy fabric? That would be delicious fabulous fabulous look forward to seeing what you make uh sue says oh my goodness how does anyone not know the riff for smoke on the water now i know i'm old oh i knew what you meant i knew what you meant love that love that right next up can we do the yellow i want to open this out because it's unbelievable look that's half a meter look at all of that now, of course, you know, the, the original uh, job, the goal of the alchemist was two things, wasn't it? It was turning base metal into gold, finding the secret to doing that, and also finding the sort of uh, elixir of life the potion for immortality. They were the two goals of the alchemist. But I think they were early scientists, weren't they? They were finding out what things were made of. But this for me is very much that sort of bubbling cauldron of base metal turned into gold. Tim's done that with base fabric. He's turned it literally into gold. A jacket lining or reversible item, too good to hide as a lining, says Fran. It is really, I agree. A reversible item, much better. What about a reversible hat? Uh, love a fab lining, says Elizabeth. So a little bit of support there for linings. But I mean, I agree. It's got to be a lining that's going to be on show. So I was making a bag yesterday that has pockets where you never see the lining. Don't use it there. But the lining of a bag, every time you reach into your bag, you see something really beautiful. I think that's a good use of a beautiful fabric too. But make it your way. Make it your way. Next one is that amazing green. 
Now talking of Muppets, I can't look at this without thinking of Kermit because it really is Kermit green, isn't it? It's that gorgeous, vibrant green. So striking. You know, but it's also like, you know, that kind of colour of fresh garden peas or, um, you know, broad beans popped out of the skins. It's that real vibrant green that you think doesn't exist in nature, but it really does. It really does. It's absolutely dazzling. But again, different colours in there as well. There's turquoise in there. There's black. There's yellow. There's like a really soft mint as well. A little bit of orangey yellow as well too. Next up, we've got the turquoise. This is Caribbean blue. This is turquoise, green, lilac, purple. Just lovely. Good morning from Scorchio, Valencia. I'm tempted to get this and make some very loud caftans to lounge around in. Too much, do you think, Patricia? Patricia, I think you might be asking the wrong person. <laughs> yeah, not never too loud. No, do it. Do it. I, funnily enough, I was looking at caftan patterns two days ago. Yeah, I'm going there. Beautiful, beautiful. I hope you are staying coolish, my lovely. This would be amazing. This would be amazing for like a little cover up for around the pool or on holiday, wouldn't it? Or even just to make into a beautiful scarf. I think all of those colours are just beautiful. You know what I mean? Gorgeous. You could accessorise so many different things with this, or any of them actually. Just make yourself like an infinity scarf or just a simple scarf. Uh, great fabric for a modern looking waistcoat lining. That's Robert in Staffordshire. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. On the back as well because you have that on the back too. Oh, just pull my, thank you. Just, oh, don't do that. Don't do that again. Uh, yeah, the back of a waistcoat and the lining, beautiful, beautiful. And maybe like a pocket square, just to, if you've got a, like a welt pocket on the waistcoat to tuck in. I'm a fan, I'm a fan. And then last of all, there's the purple. Oh, and a request to fulfill. I love a request. So this is the purple, which is really sort of wisteria and um, hydrangeas and violets and irises. For me, this is a very floral fabric, even though there's no flowers on it. Yeah, if purple's your colour and you've got lots of purples in your stash that you want to bring together, you could unify them with a fabric like this. Love it. A request. Bring it on. Hi Stuart, can you please place the blue, pink and purple together? I'm thinking of a quilt idea. Heidi in Skipton. Heidi, my pleasure. So there's the purple, the pink and the blue. Yes. Well, this is going to look absolutely fabulous. I can promise you. It's a bit of all right, isn't it? That is stunning. Well, I hope you agree, Heidi. What do you think? Francis being cheeky, a John Scott shirt? Oh, of course, absolutely a John Scott shirt. Absolutely. Beautiful. The graphics on screen are just for the purple. But Heidi, as requested, the three together, the blue, the pink and the purple. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Right, don't forget there is a mega bundle of all six fabrics, half a metre of each. I've only got eight of the bundles left though. Ten of you have got it in your baskets, so it's not going to work out great. But eight of you can get hold of this bundle. So that is a good thing. Let's mix these up a little bit. So you're getting half a metre for free, six half metres or three metres in total. There we go. Don't pull the thread, Stuart. Oh, Elaine likes the combo. Great combo, she says. 
That's the blue, the purple and the pink. But a great combo all together as well, I think you'll agree. Amazing. The graphics actually that we showed show the fabric at greatly reduced size. So you can see the kind of overall print that's really on at least a fat quarter. Heidi's got that. Wow, amazing. In my basket it goes. Heidi. Love that. Love that. I've got two of these mega bundles remaining. Well done if you managed to get yours. What a delicious addition to your fabric loveliness. Gorgeous. Can we do a bit more, Tim? Where would you like to go? Yeah, extra wide backings are so good from Tim Holtz. I've got six. No, these are, that's a cotton canvas. That's a cotton canvas. This one. Just two extra wides. Three. Three extra wides. Yeah, there's three. Ah, which one's about to sell out? This one. I'll get rid of that one. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, well, look, enough time. There's half a metre. Sorry. There's half a metre of that one left. That's extra wide, by the way. Okay, right. Should we do the world map? Let's do the world map. All right. So this is extra wide backing fabric from Tim Holtz. So it's 108 inches wide. So the equivalent to more than two and a half times regular width. This is beautiful. We all love this one, don't we? It's just such a cool fabric. Yes, please. Come and hold one end, Hannah, just so you get a sense. If you make to sell, even things like tote bags made out of this, price much reduced compared with regular width quilt weight fabric. Stunning, really cool print. You, this is half a metre. You get absolutely loads. There she is. And back you go. Get off, go on, get off. There we go. <laughs> there, <oof. laughs> Stop! Stop! <laughs> there we go. Are you okay? So here we go, kind of aged world map, um, just fab. This is another one that would look great stretched over a canvas. You could add photographs of special people. You could use this in all kinds of things, bags it would be great for. You can use this on the front of your quilt, your blocks, your borders, your binding, but it's also designed to work as a quilt backing with no joins. Notebook covers, that would look great. Diaries, journals, iPad stands, Yale covers, that would be awesome. Such a useful fabric. Like I say, half a metre. Uh, cushions! Just, can you imagine just a quilted cushion done in this? Maybe with a binding or covered piping cord around the outside edge. Would just look really cool. Really cool. I'll tell you another thing you could make with this. What about like um, a suit cover for traveling? You know that you could put a, um, a coat hanger with a suit inside with a zip up the front. That would be smashing. Yeah, packing cubes. So, so there's a bit of a trend, isn't there? Rather than just throwing all of your, your clothes straight into a suitcase, to have like a little bag that's for your underwear and something for your socks, something for t-shirts. And you could make these, they would be great. Little zip top or poppers. Half a meter would do to get you started. It's a really cool fabric. 14.99 gets you half a meter. But remember that that is 108 inches wide so almost three times the width of normal fabric brill now the other extra wide backing fabric we've got i have literally just used well a few weeks ago for the back of a quilt this is called dictionary um and i use this for the backing of a quilt for my new book Again, 108 inches wide. This kind of is a bit too good, isn't it, to put on the back of a quilt? But then you see the back of a quilt a lot when you're using it. 
and I love to sit there reading fabrics. If there's any words on them, I have to read. So lovely. Again, this would be great for things like journal covers and book bags, a reading cushion, you know, the kind of thing with a pocket and a handle. Lovely. Yeah, this would be cool. Like a reading corner at home. If you have a favourite armchair that you like to sit and read in, make yourself a few little cushions, something like that would be lovely. It's just a really great fabric, isn't it? And great on the back of a quilt. The colours are perfect for kind of country, soft, gentle. This would be a really nice lining for a waistcoat, Robert, don't you think? Sometimes you want vibrant colour. Sometimes you want this kind of neutral that'd be great. You could use this for dressmaking for sure. It's a lovely smooth 100% cotton. It's a nice fine weave. It's a high thread count. So that would be really nice for dressmaking too. And because it's 108 inches wide, you wouldn't need anything like as much of this fabric as you would. So if your shirt pattern called for two and a half meters, I reckon probably one and a half meters of this would be enough. Fab. Right, we've got some other Tim Holtz fabrics now. Regular width quilt weight cotton. Yeah, so this next one is Eclectic Elements. Now, I fell in love with Tim Holtz fabrics about 10 years ago when I was writing my first book, So Fabulous, and I designed a chapter around Eclectic Elements because I loved them so much. Uh, it was the dining room. So I did things like recovered uh, dining chairs, I did a runner, placemats, napkins, all kinds of accessories for in the dining room using eclectic elements. And um, Tim's been adding to these fabrics over the years. So for example, there's newsprint, there's, well, yeah, this is dictionary, but done at a different scale. So this is the scale for a backing fabric. And then this is the scale for the quilt weight cotton. You've also got, the world map in there and again at a scale that's more akin to sort of smaller projects you've got kind of old labels and kind of I don't know um, yeah like sort of signs adverts yeah collected memories I think that's a very good way of putting it um, wooden rulers tape measures um, building blueprints an old copper engraved printing blocks. Uh, this one's really cool, kind of mathematical symbols and workings out. Again, old adverts. This is beautiful. I often say he doesn't do florals, but sometimes he does. But he brings his aesthetic even to florals. So they're aged, they're worn, they're um, kind of distressed, but in a very beautiful way, in a way that's like a sort of, you know, favourite armchair at, uh, you know, I don't know, yes, well loved. Um, this is a pretty one too. So you've got those floral elements, but you've also got the sort of distress, the alphabets, the franking, And then musical notation there as well. So lots of lights, lots of neutrals and soft colours in there. Maybe some soft pinks. Isn't that pretty? Elizabeth's made a good point. Can you imagine if you made a shirt out of the dictionary fabric, standing at the tills shopping, people would be reading your back in the newsprint fabric. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> love that. Gorgeous. Um, right. Mmm. Mmm. Right, let me grab those. So I'll pop eclectic elements out of the way. Gorgeous bundle that. Got a few of those by the half meter. We'll have a look at those in a bit. Uh, right. Yep. Yep. So here, this one okay, Hannah? Yep. 
So just to show you how you might combine them, Hannah's put together a little bundle, two half meters for 16.98. So this is from Abandoned, which is one of his collections. This is absolutely gorgeous. And then this one is from Eclectic Elements. We've actually just seen this one. This is the uh, sort of mathematical workings out, the calculations. Um, that would make a beautiful bag, wouldn't it? A bag combo. Saint Concerto in rust. Mm, love that. Oh, and this one says it's from Alchemy, that one. Oh, I see, it's the colour is Alchemy, I understand. Oh, Derek's got in touch, mmm, I love that dictionary fabric shirt idea, I think you should do it. And then when you go shopping, people will read you at the tills, but not in a RuPaul's Drag Race read you but literally read you. I have a shirt that is London underground map fabric. I love that Elizabeth. And people often stand and read the stations on it. Can you imagine wearing it to London and people literally stopping you and saying, how do I get to Oxford Street? <laughs> I love that, I love that. Brilliant. Um, I've got another bundle of three. Is that the, the musical notation? Yes, got that one here. This is lovely. I really like this combination. So this, you've got the musical notes. Love that fabric. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. So useful to have in your stash, that fabric. Um, then you've got this one, which is kind of blueprints and advertisements. I mean, just that combination together is absolutely gorgeous. And then you've also got half a meter of natural seeded cotton which also goes absolutely beautifully together those three fabrics so half a meter of each for 20 pounds and 77 hannah 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 just a second just a second there you go you're going to get your natural seeded cotton for free 16.98 so you're paying for the tim holtz you're getting the natural seeded cotton have fun with it yeah yeah and i love that neutral bundle it's absolutely gorgeous yeah neutral does not mean dull and boring at all does it it's full of pattern full of interest there but just calm quiet neutral colors everyone can get involved with that Love that, Hannah. Free natural seeded cotton with that bundle. Gorgeous. Really good bargain. Lots of you coming in for that. The musical notation fabric. How many people do we know who are into their music where you could include a bit of that or a lot of that in a project? That actually, that combination would work really nicely for my um, city work bag from Bags for Life. That would look really good. That would be enough to make that. Yeah, let us know, have you ever bought Tim Holtz fabric before? Is this your first time today? And, because he's got loads of really loyal followers. I mean, I've loved his stuff for the last nine, 10 years. Um, but we're all discovering new things, aren't we? So if you've just discovered Tim Holtz or you've just used Tim Holtz fabric for the first time, get in touch. Let us know what it was that attracted you to Tim Holtz um, and to his fabrics, of course, and what did you make? Or what are you planning to make? Love it. Maybe you found Tim Holtz today. Right, I've got two bundles, abandoned and abandoned two. Uh, I do, that is abandoned and that is abandoned too. Yeah, so we do abandoned first. So this is a bundle from Tim's collection called Abandoned. Now Abandoned and Abandoned 2 are probably my favorite things he has ever done. They are, they're just, well, they're stunning. They're absolutely stunning. Um, it seems criminal to only show you a folded piece of fabric as well because you think you've seen it all until you open them out, but anyway. There's lots to get through. So you're getting in this bundle eight half meters of fabric. 
and every single one of them is like a piece of art in itself that I love reminds me of old kind of celluloid film just look at the textures and the colors this is a beautiful combination actually and that fabric I need oodles of Francis I've got some Tim Holtz 12 by 12 papers yeah you see that's where he came from wasn't it it was all paper crafting originally and still does an immense amount of wonderful inks and papers and paper crafting items scrapbooking items but thank goodness his designs go on fabric too so that's abandoned eight half meters for 59.43 so many beautiful possibilities in there and of course you could mix in the alchemy fabrics those would go very well you could use eclectic elements some of the creams and the neutrals would work really well in there too. You can really make it your own. Great value. What does that work out, Hannah, at, at 59.43? Because you're saving £8.49. You're getting one of these half metres for free. £7.42 a half metre. Fab. 742 a half meter instead of 849 i love that i love that sue's got in touch i love tim holtz always very different everything goes together i combine the material with his paper crafting so good ah oh, sue i love that so mixed media scrapbooking and mixed media art it's just lovely and as well i can never resist buying you know those like little metal brads and charms as well that you can sew on or stick on they look amazing as well all combined little keys clock faces cogs things like that to build up layers i tell you who loves doing that um pauline wheeler uh, this will be my first time using tim holtz this is from joanne who's in lincolnshire i'm going to use the musical bundle to make a quilted footstool cover i love that can't wait thank you fab show joanne i love that idea thank you thank you for getting in touch another message hi stuart love tim holtz uh, my fan from his paper crafting days oh your paper crafting days uh, got the music to make a new music carrier for my recorder class Valerie I love you I used to do recorder and treble recorder at school <laughs> yeah you too Kat you were in a choir doing recorder love that. love that I used to go along to my classes with my recorder lunchtime recorder club beautiful beautiful right really popular bundle really popular bundle i'm going to show you abandoned two so you can sort of compare and contrast actually they would all go together magnificently into one mega bundle just saying i can never resist tim holtz fabric. i always have to buy all of the tim holtz fabrics and they're the one fabric that i always really really labor over how i'm going to use it because to me it's so special i want to use it really well um, now talking about laboring no resisting resisting oh oh okay hannah now it makes sense uh don't resist the temptation to check out your baskets otherwise you'll miss out was this meter and a half bundle here yeah it's been ever so popular there's a few left but they're lingering in baskets oh kate's just got in touch just bought the musical fabric checked out before the price drop will i pay the higher price no kate no no whenever we drop the prices whenever you've come in and bought it you will always pay the lowest price the the checkout doesn't actually happen until midnight tonight by which time any price drops will have gone through you always pay the lowest price 
which is good news, right? This is a great little bundle because it's $16.98. You've got half a meter of the musical notation fabric, half a meter of the signs and blueprints fabric, half a meter of natural seeded cotton, but you're getting the seeded natural cotton for free. You're not paying for that. You're only paying for the Tim Holtz. You're getting that bit for free. So bag, lining, contrast, footstool cover, I hear. Beautiful, beautiful. Derek's got in touch. My first ever Tim Holtz bundle just arrived this morning. I bought it earlier this week. Derek, what are you gonna make? Gorgeous, I know you'll enjoy it. Now, abandoned two. Abandoned two. Oh, and a question too. Hi, Stuart, you think the Tim Holtz will be good doing a quilted jacket? Oh, Diane. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful. Deputy Jones working on a quilted kimono style jacket at the moment. Uh, I've just shot one for my new book. Uh, it's all about the quilted jacket right now. This would be incredible. Absolutely incredible. Right, let's have a look at these fabrics. These are incredible. Again, lots of colour this time. Lots of intense colour. But still with that kind of time-worn, distressed. Look at that for a bit of fire on fabric. Those turquoises, sort of citrine. These are quite dual colors in here. Aren't they amazing? And I hate to say it, but I'm gonna be really honest, how would you ever cut these up? But you must, we must. Stuart, you must. I've got so many gorgeous Tim Holtz fabrics at home waiting to be cut up. But it's only a sign that we really love them and we want to do them justice. So that is Abandoned 2. So I suppose the thing is, the choice in a way is, Abandoned 2 for me, this is a distressed rainbow. You've got the purples, reds, oranges, greens, purples, uh, tans golds in there your abandoned one the earlier bundle there is a lot more of the the greens the golds the tans in there so a little bit more of a restricted palette now having said all of that all of this would work together incredibly well so if you're planning a bigger quilt, a bed quilt, or maybe a number of different projects, then actually buying both bundles together and combining everything would work brilliantly. It would work absolutely brilliantly. Choice is yours there though. They're really neck and neck. They're really neck and neck. But um, I just want to open out a few of these fabrics just to show you because it, it doesn't do them justice just to see the folded fabric. That's, that's a fat quarter there. You get half a metre, of course, but just look at all that detail. Sort of mosaic-like. Yeah, New York skyline. I can see that. I can see that. Oh, I say. You're really painting a picture there, Hannah. I'll have a cosmopolitan, thank you. But look at that one. Kind of, I don't know, autumn leaves, but seen through a window that's kind of rain splattered. So it's kind of distorting the woodland outside. Or it's painterly, isn't it? It's almost impressionistic. Mmm. Look at all that gorgeous colour and light in there. A sort of damask, overprinted, with colour, with words. I do love this one. I love all the colours in Abandoned 2. Again, this is almost like fabric that's been folded in a cupboard and aged and worn, but still beautiful. More beautiful than it started out. Okay, I like that. 
Hannah's thinking art quilt, trees, forests, sort of abstract, but using very different fabrics. Now talking of trees and forests, look at that. In fact, you know what? I'm just gonna hold this piece of fabric up. So you just look, just half a meter is incredible. Absolutely incredible fabric. It's such a talent. And, um, you know, for me, there's a lot of versatility in this because there's a whole piece of fabric, very beautiful, loads of, loads of interest there as a whole piece of fabric, but then cut down into tiny elements or, you know, larger patchwork, strips, squares, bindings. It just, it works for everything. It works for absolutely everything. Um, single figures single figures. When I've had Tim Holtz fabric left, it's great to attach to a blank canvas and hang as artwork. Michelle from St. Helens, love that idea. Love that idea. Either build up a collage or just individual pieces just stretched over canvas and just on a wall. It's too beautiful, isn't it, to put in a drawer. It's just lovely. It's just lovely. All that colour, yummy, yummy. Of course, once I get started with my ink tense pencils, there'll be no stopping me. We saw this one earlier, didn't we, in a little bundle? Almost tartan like. Any of these would make a very modern stained glass. Oh, I love that, Kerry. I love that. A stained glass quilt. Kerry from Shrewsbury. That's a brilliant idea. Absolutely brilliant idea. Funny story I was giving a talk in Shrewsbury at a hall and um, beautiful place, walked in, one big room that side, one big room that side. So I walked this away, went in, and I'm there with my quilters and everyone, there's probably about 150 people sitting in the audience and I'm about to start my talk. I go up on stage, I've got my quilts and I start talking and um, about 10 minutes in, and there's two ladies got up at the back and raised their hands. And I said, oh, do you have a question? And one of the ladies said, is this not Weight Watchers? <laughs> the other side the other hall <laughs> that was so cute i just wanted to say look stay you'll have more fun honestly we'll have a good time we've got cake i've got four of these abandoned two bundles left that's all that's all this is that last fabric again it it's like tim printed it just for you painted it just for you Christine's got in touch to say, I've got loads of Tim Holtz paper craft and ink pads, but no fabric yet. Might have to put it right today. Christine, I think if you're a fan and you love his style of papers and inks and that, you love that distressed look, the, it's the next logical step, isn't it, to put it into fabric and use it in fabric projects. Give it a go. Give it a try. Um, I don't, uh, yeah, I know you'll have a good time. I know you'll have a good time. So literally, I've got four of these bundles left. This is Abandoned 2, which is that sort of glorious, distressed and aged rainbow. More in baskets than we have. Ah, okay, so seven of you have this in your basket, three bundles remaining, So, and that's it. We've just managed to restock these amazing fabrics, but we're about to sell out of them. Now, Hannah, do you want to do any of these individually? No. The other bundle, yep. So is that the abandoned bundle? Yep. So they were level pegging. How are we doing now? I'm going to open these out because I think that you deserve to see these as well. They deserve to be seen. Look, look, that's one fabric. <laughs> Amazing, absolutely amazing. So I'll lay these out then so you can see. This is abandoned, the original abandoned. I love this crackle. It's like lightning in the sky or aged woodwork. The patina on this or the illusion of patina is just amazing, isn't it? This one I think is a bit like celluloid film, or old archives. Yeah, exactly. 
like burning celluloid film melting so just incredible fabulous got 12 of these bundles left 12 left it's the way it's all distilled it's so organic isn't it the designs are incredibly organic love the colors there again the kind of colors of rust and age and just lovely but made beautiful in that way that you know like the way that tula pink makes beetles and snail i mean they are beautiful things but she makes us see the beauty in the often seen as ugly and you know kind of decay and wear and the effects of time especially on fabrics actually are often seen as a negative thing aren't they if we'd put you know grandma's um lace tablecloth in the uh, airing cupboard and it had got damp and it had foxed and a day that would be a terrible thing but tim holtz makes those things beautiful he makes us see the beauty in rust and the beauty in fox sing it's so clever it's so clever i bumped into tim holtz in america years ago long before i'd really sort of fallen in love with what he does and i need to bump into him again now now that i truly appreciate what he does um because i just think he's a genius with color with texture with pattern abandoned two now sold out so that beautiful bundle sold out, but this beautiful bundle still available. Remember, these are all folded in half. So each piece that you're getting, and you're getting uh, four meters, eight fabrics in total, you get half a meter, 44 inches wide. So loads of beautiful fabric to play with. So this bundle, Abandoned, has got a kind of um, yellows, greens, um, turquoises, rust colors it's quite a lovely autumny palette actually and i could imagine you know do you know the like maple leaf piecing block that looks like a maple leaf with the with the little applique stem do you know that kind of block i'm talking about um well you can piece a maple maple leaf anyway um i'll have to show it sometime that would be amazing done different sizes of maple leaf in these fabrics with different colored backgrounds i think not neutrals maybe deeper solid tones teals and deep oranges and reds chocolate browns and then piece the leaves out of these and have a sort of falling leaves quilt made using this range i think that would be stunning I keep on giving myself more jobs to do i want to make that quilt now yeah for which i would need to just take all of these fabrics away with me wouldn't i but can you imagine just this one fabric imagine what you could make the different variations in tone and color that you could make using this i want to pick out this one please <laughs> this is rz07 there isn't very much of this it's 849 for half a meter even just get yourself half a meter of that and just play with that it's incredible Maison de Gros. Absolutely stunning. And that's got musical notation on it as well. So it's more subtle, but can you say you've got musical notes here? And violin, see there? It's a little bit more obvious there. So it's the kind of fabric that invites a closer look, isn't it? You definitely can't just look at it and see everything in one look. Um, AB52, I just think this is a, a, such a useful fabric. If you don't want to use like a solid black, 
perhaps for a Galleria quilt using these fabrics, but you want something to frame everything, this would be awesome. Oh, that's sold out. I'm not surprised actually, it's, you know, who'd have thought it though, but it's such a useful fabric. Yeah, you knew, knew, knew. Uh, I am one four. Three meters left of this one. Again, look. This is the one that's got that amazing patina, that sort of aging, verdigree, rusting. It's almost like the inside of an abandoned wooden chest. You open it up and it's kind of full of dusty papers and trinkets and treasures, but it's the inside of the trunk which is the most beautiful. Love it. That one that looks like celluloid, NL92. We do have that one, good. Well, that's an amazing neutral. And it might be that your quilt is about these neutrals or it might be that you want something to set the colors against. I think that's gorgeous. And again, something like a bag or a backpack notebook cover, be lush, absolutely lush. Uh, HO49. Love the purples and the pinks in this. Mm. Fabulous. There's more. They're all available, or many of them are available by the half meter. We'll put them on, um, have a look on the website. Just wanted to show you before we go to break, I've got some cotton canvases from Tim Holtz. Got three of them. So really useful for maybe upholstery, covering a chair, maybe making some heavyweight cushions or bag making. Should we do the floral? Of course. Uh, fabric one, this is WQ41. So this is that lovely, we saw this as a quilt weight cotton, this lovely floral, but this is a uh, cotton canvas. So great for a bag. You could French seam a tote bag and not line it. That would work. Yeah, oh, it's a lovely soft canvas. It's not hard it's really soft no it's lovely and you could use this for sort of a perhaps um dressmaking you know a jacket or a waistcoat something like that that would work a hat 112 wide so 44 inches elizabeth says has anyone played the notes to see what it is i might have to freeze frame it oh that would be cool I think actually one day Ben was singing the notes in my ear and it sounded quite tuneful, but then I never know if he's just taking the mickey out of me. Who knows? No, he wouldn't do that. Um, postage franking. This is DT68. I feel like we're not far off by having to explain what these are to younger people. Don't you? Ah, okay. So Hannah doesn't understand the purpose of franking. So what franking shows is the place where the letter was posted from or where it was franked. So the sorting office. So it would give you an idea if it came from Devon or Cheltenham or Glasgow or something like that. And it also shows the date that it was franked. So when it was received and basically it was stamped over the top of a stamp to show that the stamp had been used so it couldn't be reused. Yeah, they're a thing, they're a thing. But this is cotton canvas and perfect for bag making or slightly sort of heavier duty um, upholstery. And then the last one that I've got in cotton canvas, YF19, we've seen three different versions of this fabric because it's so useful. We saw the extra wide quilt backing, we saw the quilt weight cotton, now we're seeing the cotton canvas. So this is a heavier weight. It's still nice and soft, 100% cotton, nice and fluid, but heavier weight. Helen says, hi Stuart, I've made a little jacket out of this floral. That is a lovely idea. I like that, Helen. I like that. 
Okay, we've got a request to show fabric. Hi, Hannah. Could Stuart show ONU148, please, as the picture isn't complete on the on more details. Right, that's a quilt weight cotton, yeah? And it's got butterflies. Yeah, I know the one. I know the one. Uh, this one right here. Is it this one? No, that's VZ61. That's not that one. Uh, there's another one that has, yeah, um, this one, the moths, I think, I think it's this one, uh, I'll just check it's the right one, oh, N48, yes, this is the one, right, if I open out the whole thing, and then I can sort of show you around the fabric, how about that? So you've got kind of chocolat souchard and um, blueprint elements. You've got the butterflies and moths moving across. Ten and six. Okay, so half a metre looks like that. How's that? Let's go to a break. When we come back, Emma Bradford will be back with some fabulous masterclass from Creator Grids. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Join us this Monday here on Sewing Street for the launch of Christmas in July. We've got some fantastic brand new launches to share with you, including Liberty's brand new Deck the Halls range. We've got Delphine Brooks joining us with her exclusive stag panel and a Santa sack. And we've even got a special yarn lane just for Christmas. For all of these great Christmas projects and so much more, make sure you join us here on Sewing Street this Monday for Christmas in July. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. 
Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favorite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. What's that? Christmas bells in July? That can only mean one thing. Christmas comes to Sewing Street. Chloe, that wasn't in the script. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Join us this Monday here on Sewing Street for the launch of Christmas in July. We've got some fantastic brand new launches to share with you, including Liberty's brand new Deck the Halls range. We've got Delphine Brooks joining us with her exclusive stag panel and a Santa sack. And we've even got a special yarn lane just for Christmas. For all of these great Christmas projects and so much more, make sure you join us here on Sewing Street this Monday for Christmas in July. I'm ready for Christmas. You ready for Christmas, Emma? Uh, so yes, yeah, yeah, no. yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a no. It's a no. But Monday, Monday, Christmas in July begins. Emma Bradford's back, everyone. Hey, Emma, Hi. welcome back. Thank you. You're giving us what we all need—a masterclass. Yes. With Creative Grids, Grids. Rulers. I love creative Grids. Fabulous. We all love, love Creative them. Grids. This is, I mean, a few things which sometimes get overlooked. Well, I think any ruler can get overlooked. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you just need to see it in action. Today's the day. Emma's going to be demonstrating the Creative Grids wedding ring templates. Um, it's right there. Look behind me. How beautiful is that? Is well, basically, I think it's fair to say that the double wedding ring quilt is on every quilter's bucket list. Yeah. We all want to make it one day. <laughs> but one day is always some time in the future. And why? Well, Emma, why? Why is it always some time in the future? Well, because you've got curves mm -hmm. and the traditional way, you've also got pieced arcs. Mm -hmm. So it is a quite a time consuming one yeah and it, it can be quite daunting especially with all those curves in there yeah but it doesn't need to be at all i'm going to dispel your fear yeah. of the curved seams 
and the time it takes as well because this this ruler is really amazing well the thing is we've all got into using acrylic rulers and a rotary cutter to cut out our squares and our strips and mm -hmm. if it's something that requires templates i think a lot of us kind of shrug our shoulders and say oh no i don't think so no. so what creative grids have done is they've produced rotary cutting templates so you could just rotary cut around yep. four or six layers of fabric there are marking points as well to make the piecing easy and job done so they've simplified the process yeah absolutely so that's one of our things we've got the wedding ring template it's 38.99 this would be the most magnificent um wedding present oh yeah anniversary present but also things like a beautiful retirement gift mm -hmm. for somebody. It's, it, it was always traditionally done as a celebration quilt, usually for, for marriage, but not always, but just a beautiful um, heirloom quilt. Yep, oh yes. But now this is bringing this into everyone's reach. Yes. So that's the first one we're gonna look at, 38.99 for that. Now we've also got the log cabin trim tool so this is for the regular log cabin up to a 12 inch but emma this is more versatile than making i mean log cabin brilliant mm -hmm. Love lovely mm -hmm. um this makes it super easy but what else will this ruler do so this ruler will do essentially six different blocks six yeah okay because um you've got three different designs yeah so you've got your traditional log cabin you've got a one-sided log cabin and you've got your courthouse steps yep um and then it's in a 12 inch size or a six inch size amazing so we're looking at the top three blocks only yeah so on the left hand side that's your quarter log cabin which you can make it a six inch or a 12 inch yeah the courthouse steps in the center six mm -hmm. inch 12 inch and the traditional log cabin on the right hand side six inch 12 inch yep amazing yeah. amazing all from one ruler 29.99 i've used the log cabin rulers they are brilliant they are and i have to admit log cabin i always if somebody's starting quilting yeah. i always direct them to a log cabin to start off with do you because, yeah there's n if you do it on the strip method so mm -hmm. you don't have to cut in individual strip to length mm -hmm. if you just do your width of strip which is what this mostly does mm -hmm. Um, yeah, there's no corners to match. No. You don't have to worry about measuring so much. It's all about sewing and trimming, sewing and trimming. Yeah, that's what this ruler's genius at, isn't it? It's a really cool ruler. Looking forward to that being demoed. And then the third ruler that we're going to get a masterclass is, is for the eight inch curvy log cabin trim tool. Now on that original picture, these were the blocks at the bottom of the row, yep. which I'll show you in a second. So, oh. yeah, I can, it's really where you put these blocks together, yeah. isn't it? That you really get the effect. Yeah. Ready? Oh, there they are, there they are. So <laughs> you've got thin logs on one side, thick logs on the other, and can you see that illusion of curves? Look amazing when you start putting blocks together. Yeah, and you can really have fun with this one. So if you imagine, you can actually do circles. So yep. you could do some, depending on what colors you use, you could do a full circle, and then maybe a, a little curved, couple of curved one underneath for leaves. Mm -hmm. it's you can really let your creativity fly with yeah that. there are some beautiful beautiful quilts using this block uh elizabeth says emma your hair looks fabulous oh, it's thank really you. stylish thank you so much <laughs> gorge right let's get started emma yeah we're going to start with the wedding ring first wedding ring thank you we're going to start with wedding ring yeah so this is how it comes so you get your your templates inside a pack and keep always keep your inserts that come with your rulers for creative grids because it has all your instructions on there um, they also come with a QR code on them so if you just open your phone to your camera and point it at the QR code it'll automatically pull up in most phones uh, a link to follow to instructions um, and like a video on how to use them as well. So if you want to go back and either look at this again mm -hmm. or you want somebody different to explain, then you could got all that. What if I lose the packaging? Uh, all the information is literally from that QR code. Okay. So you can go directly to the website and it tells you everything And that's you need on to the know. ruler and you can search the ruler yeah. too. There are videos, yeah. awesome. It's on the ruler. Well, uh, on all of the rulers they're like that. So you've got your center piece 
So these are the inside of your um, blocks. Mm -hmm. You've got what we call the melon part. So that's the another bit that's the inside. Yep. And then your arcs. Now this one is really uh, interesting because it's designed by Judy Niemeyer. Mm -hmm. Now Judy Niemeyer does a wedding ring uh, pattern that is paper pieced. Mm -hmm. So you can use that in conjunction with that pattern. You can use these rulers in conjunction with that. Mm -hmm. So if you want to piece your arcs, paper piece them, and then use this to trim them down, you can do that as well. Got you, got you. That's a separate thing, isn't it? Yeah. And then these are your, your corner bits right there. So first step to do is to cut them out. Like you mentioned, you can do multiple layers at once mm -hmm. as you feel comfortable. Yeah. And what I did when I was cutting them out, I won't cut a melon today, but because this is essentially, this part and this part is cut out from the background, um, you can actually nest them quite nicely. So there's very little waste of fabric as well once you, you nest them all up. Yeah. Now, rotary cutter wise, you're using a 45 mil cutter. Yes. Is that going to be, that's okay for this? Yeah, it works absolutely fine. You can go a little bit smaller to go around the curves, but the curves are quite gentle. Yeah. I haven't tried it on a, on the larger one. Mm -hmm. um, but it, that may still work as well. But yeah, I wouldn't go, from what my experience is, I wouldn't go bigger than this. Yeah. And a rotary cutting mat would be yeah. helpful as well. Yeah. Just put the graphics in for a 28 mil rotary cutter, um, which is really, really useful, I think, when you're cutting around curved Curves. templates. Um, uh, uh, you know, uh, as Emma's showing, very, very adequate with a 45 mil, but just going around those curves, you may find easier with 28 mil. I'm going to contour a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, now also, best press. Oh yes. Is that a good idea? Best press would be good on this mm -hmm. because you will have some bias edges, especially on the outer arcs. Uh, and it just really helps to stabilize the fabric. So I've got one last one to do. Cool. Best press is one of those things, it comes in and it flies out, it goes so quickly. Lots of you multi-buying that this morning. Yeah, it's it's definitely a, a staple yeah. in my sewing room. Yeah, yeah, for all patchwork actually. I, yeah. I, I, I starch everything. Mm -hmm. But particularly where you're working with curves, bias edges, mm -hmm. yeah, very useful. This one's fragrance free by the way, so go. if you're affected by smells or the certain smells you don't like, this one's fragrance free. Yeah, perfect. So that is my inner... Look how accurate that is. It's yeah. amazing, isn't it? No drawing around it and then cutting out with scissors. Nope. Just rotary cut around the template. And I'm gonna mark my um, dots. So it has dots on it to line up. So that is on all of the pieces. So you've got little holes mm -hmm. that you can just mark. You can use a friction pen, or I do like a multi-mat and a bit of sandpaper. What, what does the sandpaper do? So the sandpaper, it helps to, you don't have to mark so hard with right. your pencil. It works really well with the pencil. Mm -hmm. It grips your fabric, so you don't have any shifting of the fabric underneath, because mm -hmm. sometimes it can distort a little bit. Yep. And it just helps the, the lead to come off, so you don't have to press oh, so hard. Oh, cool. that's such a clever idea. That, that yeah. comes in the multi-mat, we've got them on screen. They're a quilter's best friend, I think, multi-mats. They are. I, I bought one to go on a retreat, yep. thinking, oh, that'd be a nice little cutting mat and a, yeah. and a little pressing board. I'll just use board. it there. Yeah, I'll just mm. use it there, be a pressing board. And then I opened it up, because it didn't say anything about sandpaper on the right. outer packaging. And then I'm like, oh, this is amazing. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. I use sandpaper for everything. So just while you're there, Emma, mm -hmm. can you just point out where the drilled holes are for your matching points? So you've got one. Uh, in the middle of each side and you've got one on each at the end of each arm got say you. that so there is eight all together and this helps you to match everything up so you get a perfect finish yes great yep. because uh, some of the pieces because they're curved and triangular they 
it's not like a square where you can just match up the corners and you know you're going to be even right they are some of the edges aren't always even to match up so the, these points really make a difference yeah and where we might in other circumstances start folding things in half make oh, it a yeah. crease putting it yeah, up yeah i do that too you just use the template yeah it's all been thought for you it's all done it's great it's all done there we go and as well, I like on the packaging, if I just show you this, on the packaging, you can actually create a pieced background instead yes. of a plain one, yes. can't you? So here, you can see you sew four squares together or four triangles together um, and then put your template on top and cut around it. So you end up with these options right here for the center so again yeah. totally different look it is it's lovely i mean you think oh i'll buy a red ring template and that's what i'm going to use it for yeah but there are so many options of to do it i mean you get the basic block but mm. like you said with a piece background it gives mm. a completely different look mm. um i've done the demonstrator in just three colors mm -hmm. so you can do that or you can go scrappy like i did with the with the other one. Oh yeah lovely of course a rainbow i was looking at those rainbow ones the rainbow fabrics mm -hmm. you had for the early bird mm. that'd be gorgeous and you if you can't think of it yourself if you just go online or google or pinterest and put double wedding ring quilt oh yeah there's so many options you can see so much inspiration beautiful yeah do different backgrounds different arcs uh so we go so this is your all the pieces that you that you need so you've got your melons mm -hmm. and then your background bits so I'm going to sew one of the melons together okay oh haven't marked these so let me do that quick so again all the shapes have like little marking dots on yes, them that you every can... single one cool at, at least four so I suppose in dressmaking these are like your notches yeah very clever yeah and they're nice and wide and big I thought oh I'm not gonna get a pencil in there mm -hmm. but they are nice and big so you can cool they weren't they didn't skimp on the holes no I think the thing is you know the double wedding I know a few people actually from my guild who have made like I don't know three four five double wedding ring quilts Wow. Because once you've got it, yes. you've got it, mm -hmm. and they're so stunning, they and are. they're so coveted by all quilters. All quilters yeah. admire double wedding ring. But it's the kind of thing most quilters want to do, but only a few do. Get to do it. But the people who do them do loads. Because yes. once you've got it, you've got <laughs> it. And I think the, 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 this template set really is one of the things that will set you apart from, yeah, I'm going to do this now because it makes the cutting out, you can rotary cut now. You are, these are templates, but not in the sense of cardboard or template plastic that you've got to draw around and cut no. around with scissors. These are rotary cutting templates. So six layers, quick, easy, accurate. You've got your marking dots for your match points. And with those, of course, you see, matching up, everything's cut accurately. Everything can be matched accurately. All you've got to do to be successful is sew a nice, neat quarter of an inch seam. Yes. But that's true if you're making a four patch quilt. If you don't sew an accurate quarter inch seam on that, it won't look right. No. So, I mean, there's nothing unusual about needing to sew an accurate quarter of an inch seam allowance. And I know we all, we're all challenged by that sometimes. Mm -hmm. But you can do this. You've oh, got yes, this. Absolutely. The hard bit's been done for you, I think. It has. <laughs> yeah. Oops. So what are you doing there? I'm pinning, pinning one of my arcs to one of the melons, making sure I match up those dots. Mm -hmm. And then do all the corners. So you'll see what I mean, where you can't match up the corners, you have to match up the dots because they don't align. Because okay. that, that little bit is gonna, right here. Mm -hmm. 
But that's a bit like sewing a triangle to a square. It is. There's a bit hanging over There's the edge, There's always a little isn't bit there? hanging over, yeah. And normally we don't have okay. these match points, so this is helping us even more. Yeah, it's mm. perfect. Oh, my foot's gone. There we go. So you literally just pin at the two ends mm -hmm. and in the middle? Yep. Oh wow. Yeah, that is it. I oh, mean, wow. if you if you're more comfortable pinning all the way along, yeah. you can. You don't have to. Um, it it really does just go together really well. <laughs> it's because it's a nice gentle curve. Mm. I really want to make a wedding ring quilt. I've never made one. Oh, you should. No, I should. And like you said, it is iconic. I mean, even non-quilters, people who don't quilt, recognize a double wedding wing quilt. I mean, it is, it's a pattern that everybody knows. Mm hmm I'll put one more pin right in here. Gorgeous, gorgeous, iconic. Now, of course, that's a scrappy look. Mm -hmm. So a chance to dig into your stash. That is absolutely gorgeous. I was just looking oh, at the, the um, screen then. It's beautiful, isn't it? Where you've got interlocking arcs. Now, I suppose there's quite a lot of careful planning there to make sure that the rings are the same color. Yeah, so you need to have four of each. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so it's really, if you're doing scrappy, um, I've, obviously I've got the scrappy background, which is all different, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. Uh, the only thing that is the same is the, the reds and the yellow, so yes. I've kind of kept that all the way through. But yeah, you just need four arcs from each colour, mm. and that is all, all you need, basically. It's beautiful. Can I ask you, on yeah. a double wedding ring quilt, how is the edge finished? Oh, because obviously on this it's a curved, curved. edge, and I'm used to straight lines yeah. and mitered corners. It usually is a curved edge. Yep. You can trim it straight if you want to. I wouldn't do that. No. Um, I've also seen them where so at the edges you'll see um, there is only three. Go down one. There's only three sort of squares in that yep. bit. Some people will actually add so the the red on the edge, so you've yep. got an extra little bit. Oh, so it goes out and then yeah. around. Nice. Yeah, uh, definitely would need bias binding. Gotcha. Rather than straight binding. Yep. But no, it's it's stunning, and it's again, it's one of those. It's just a little bit different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, or even go old school and do no binding. Oh. And have a knife edge. Ooh. So so most really old quilts don't mm -hmm. have binding on them. Oh, okay. Binding's quite a modern thing for quilts, modern, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. the last 150 years. But like, before that, a lot of quilts, they have what's called a knife edge binding. Oh, okay. So the backing fabric mm -hmm. and the top fabrics are actually folded in, quarter of an inch, oh, and then you whip stitch oh, the two edges together. together. That's so clever. the pattern goes right to the edge. So you That's could do clever. that too. Could do that. Mm. A message. Uh, Emma's Ooh. calm approach makes all the oh, projects achievable to even the newbies like me. That's oh, Susan in Merseyside. <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Anne's got in touch. I bought this template set a while ago. You mentioned foundation paper piecing templates. Any idea where you get them from? Great to see Emma back. You've been missed. Oh, thank you so much. Um, I think just a Google search for Judy. It, it's the designer who made the, the ruler. It's yeah. her pattern. Yeah. So I would search her name and yeah. uh, see what pops up, basically. So, Anne, Judy Nehmeyer is spelled J-U-D-Y, Judy, and the Nehmeyer is N-I-E-M-E-Y-E-R. Yep. Judy Nehmeyer. You don't need them to use the template no. set. That would just be if you wanted to do um, the piece arcs. arcs. Yeah. Also, I mean, they are, this is marked with lines. So yep. the arc is marked with lines. 
and um, you could trace that off and actually make your own template you could as well because the markings are all there those you are really your could. sew lines yeah so you can just use that too yeah and to do that literally all you would do is trace that onto paper that arc onto paper okay can I just show you down here is that all right so if you put your template on top of paper mark around your template put dots at the top and at the bottom where the lines are and then take the template away and just join those dots up and then literally to foundation pieces just cut large rectangles of fabric and just sew them stitch and flip to the wrong side foundation piece them trim the whole thing back down again using your template and then proceed that yeah. would work brilliant that, that would be stunning um alicia says i said i'd try the double ring quilt for my daughter's wedding on august the 10th she's been <gasps> married eight years oh. <laughs> that's it we we hear you don't we emma yeah well, we hear you there's still time for a 10th anniversary well got alicia time. says i've finally gone for it today oh and if it goes yay. well i'll make one for my niece who got married last year as well oh excellent which, oh this is bold talk now i love it alicia <laughs> thanks emma for the inspiration oh yeah you think you're welcome <laughs> Uh, oh, Steph says, sorry, I missed you. I'll have to watch later. I've been making minestrone and Italian biscuits. Oh, that sounds divine. See, now you're teasing us with that, Steph, <laughs> because now all I can think of is minestrone and Italian biscuits, biscuits when I should be thinking of double wedding rings. Emma. So I've got my arcs, well, two arcs, one arc sewn onto my melon, two corner pieces sewn onto this one. Now I'm just putting those together. Yep can't believe you only had to pin in three places mm -hmm. to sew that arc brilliant yeah what foot do you use when you're doing this uh, my quarter of an inch foot okay yeah huh simple as that mm -hmm. emma's using the elna 680 plus which is on a very special deal we've taken a hundred pounds off our price but our price is already 150 pounds less than the rrp so normal price should be 1399 pounds today you can pay 1149 pounds 250 pounds less than that price uh, you're getting a walking foot included darning oh, foot quilting wow. feet included yeah extension table knee lifter automatic needle up and down 170 stitches automatic one step buttonholes eight of them button mm. sewing function it's got the lot nine and a half inch throat space i think nine inch throat space so bigger than a normal sewing machine loads of space for quilting quilts it's absolutely magnificent machine. You could go for easy pays, 229 pounds and 80 pence. That's what you pay today. It's the first of five split pays. We send the sewing machine after you make that first payment. You get your machine for 229 pounds and 80 pence. There's no interest, there's no credit checks. Next month we collect 22980, the month after and the month after, and the fifth month is your final payment. That's it, easy peasy. It's a fab machine, right? It is really, really nice. Really lovely. It's nice and quiet as yeah. well. Yeah. Well, I had mine out in my hotel room last <gasps> night. Oh. Busily sewing, okay. making a bag. Yeah. And I thought, you know, actually this is, I, I mean, you know, quarter past seven, I was ready for bed last night. <laughs> but I did think, you know, if I wanted to go later, this is a quiet machine. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness me. Jenny says, my first large quilt was a wedding oh, wow. ring for a niece. I don't know how to send you a pic. Jenny, oh. let me tell you how easy. Yes, we'd right, love to so see that. Email address, email address. It is studio at sewingstreet.com. So if you just attach the picture and if maybe in the title of the email you just put wedding ring quilt or something like that and send it into the studio and we can show this was your first large quilt that's impressive that's very impressive very impressive um and says great idea this is about tracing the foundation oh yeah uh, i'll have a bash at that thanks you two are a great source of info love it oh bless you A 
I think your best tip was the best press here. Oh. Because you yes. do, you know you you've got those you do want to press it well, mm -hmm. but you want it to stay in the right shape. Yes, definitely. We have a question from Linda. Oh. We have a question. Hi. Hi, Stuart and Emma. Do you sew end to end or start and finish at the dots? That's a really good question. Oh, that is a good question. I was getting really to that good next. Question. Okay, good. So these the melons you do sew end to end. When we sew, well, I'm going to sew it onto here. So this is a curved seam right here. I'm going to do this bit right here. What I'll do is it's almost like a little Y seam, but not as difficult. Okay. So I'm going to sew through my yellow bits and then I'm going to stop when I get to the edge and then I will start again and I will do the curve and then stop here and then do this bit. Okay. Uh, and actually what I've been finding works really well is actually sew both the yellow bits on first yep. and then do the curve I like because that. it's almost your edges are then almost pinned yes because they're sewn and yes. you just have to do the middle a couple of pins in the middle and you're yep. away that makes sense it's just because of uh, the way the seam allowance goes on this middle bit it has to be done separate okay full instructions though you get the video as well and if you're undecided have a look at the video now. I mean, oh, Emma's yeah. demonstrating yeah, yeah, it too. Yeah. But, um, you know, have a look. And also, I do urge you, look on Pinterest. Oh, yes. Get a bit of inspiration. Look at, yeah, look at the arrange oh, yes. because there's, there's so much you can do. And even if you've got somebody you want to make a quilt for who isn't really into quilts, like we said earlier, mm. this is a beautiful, modern way of doing it with the arc. Yes. Uh, the solid art. Solid, there we go. That's I like I that. Say. Instead I like of the piece. That. Yeah. Yeah. And if you want some more piecing or you want to use more fabrics, you can piece the center part yes. either as four squares and then cut your template or four triangles. So you could use something maybe like a layer cake then to create oh, those. Yes. Couldn't you? Um, uh, what was I going to say? The other thing. Oh, yeah. The, you know, we talk about quilts, but actually four together makes a beautiful table topper. Oh yes. You can do a row of three, just the three circles interlocking, perhaps to create a table runner. Do five or seven in a line to create a bed runner across the end of a bed. Um, you know, there's lots of other ways that you can use these templates, not just for a massive bed no. quilt. You could so, do nine to make a nice baby quilt. That'd be lovely. Yeah. That'd be gorgeous. Yeah, it's not just about um, wedding ring, but of course done in silvers and greys oh, for a yes. silver wedding anniversary. Oh yes, that'd be beautiful. Different golds for a golden yeah. wedding anniversary. Platinum. Um, friends of mine recently celebrated their emerald oh, wedding wow. anniversary. What's that? 55 years. Oh wow. I think, okay. is that right? 55 emerald, I think. Um, I was amazed that they were old enough to have been married for 55 years. <laughs> I thought that was incredible, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, gorgeous. So you can vary the colours. 55 yeah, yeah, years yeah. wedding. Yeah. yeah, wow. Okay. Yeah, emerald. Who knew? Who knew? Yeah. I'd want a really big emerald for 55 years. Yes, I love emeralds. <laughs> I love green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Green looks amazing on you. Oh, thank you. I'm always unsure about green, but sapphires. Oh, yes. Is that 45 years, a sapphire wedding oh, anniversary? Okay. <laughs> oh, we've got, have we got the photograph? We've got Jenny's photo. Oh, oh, awesome, see, Jenny, see. you did it. Oh, it's okay. going to take a moment to okay, load, so keep on. sewing. Okay, I'll put keep my, sewing. my glasses there so I can see it. <laughs> and then we've got, we've got log cabin and we've got curvy log cabin to look at. Yes. There we go. Right, now it's just the curve, so... I've sewn both of my edge bits. Yeah. Now I need to do the bit in the middle. So do you sew up to the very raw edge of the yellow fabric? No. Or to the dot? Just to the dot. Understood. Just to the dot. So you don't actually go over your seam allowance there in the middle. I understand. And then you start from the dot on the other side? Yes. Gotcha. Yes. Makes sense. And I think as well, you know, you may well, as I 
think, how long would this quilt take to make? And sometimes when you watch, you think, gosh, all that pinning, I could have whizzed, you know, two long strips together by now and be chopping them up to make my 16 patch. And that's true. But when you think about... The size. The size, exactly. What's this, about a 20 inch circle? Ooh, They're pretty big. And it's actually it's only a few seams. Yeah. in the whole thing yes the curved and yes it takes a little bit of pinning but actually your quilt will grow very fast very fast mm. very fast mm. like i said I, that's what i already did four mm -hmm. so if i added another was it one two three five, five more yep yep that's that's enough for a baby quilt yeah definitely definitely and, and how long did it take roughly to do like the four together the Ooh. scrappy now you're asking um is it a day I would say start to finish, probably a day, yeah. A day? Yeah. A day. So if you thought 16 of those, so four by four, it's a pretty decent sized bed quilt, four days work. Spread out over however long you want to take. Yeah. The next two years, little by little, yeah. beautiful. Just do one, one at a time. Yeah. So he says, good morning both. Oh, Watching morning. you this morning whilst piecing Emma's charming carpenter's star quilt. Oh, yeah. I love that quilt. We did that, that one together. Yeah, Was yeah. Was back in March? Possibly. Wow. Yeah. Well, it's been on a couple of times, so. Okay. Fair yeah. enough. Oh, we've got loads of pictures now of wedding ring quilts. Oh. Okay. Okay. They're coming good, good, good. Don't forget as well this morning, we've got two other uh, gorgeous rulers from yes. Creative Grids. We've got the log cabin trim tool and we've got the curvy log cabin. So if curves aren't your thing or you want faux curves yeah. achieved with the log cabin, we've got those as well. Got some pickies, got some pickies. Ace. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, wow. So this is from Linda. Double wedding ring quilt made wow. for our 40th wedding anniversary. Stunning. It is stunning. Beautiful Ooh, job, Linda. See, my glasses on. That's gorgeous. It's a classic, isn't it? Next one. This is from Maureen. Oh, my first <gasps> wedding ring quilt. Beautiful. And using a glue stick was a lifesaver. Oh, yeah. did you do a plique? Because you can applique oh, yeah, the rings, can. can't you, as yeah, well? Another gorgeous, yeah. Maureen. Love that. Next. Oh, this is from Jenny. This is Jenny's first large quilt, a wedding oh, wow. ring for a niece. Beautiful. See, that's, Absolutely that's the same solid arcs. But you can, um, two different colours of arcs, which is, yeah. yeah. So and interlocking inter rings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Like a marriage, interlocking rings. Oh, and this one. Now, oh, is that, that's, that's Judy Neymeyer, isn't it? Just finished the top of my Barley Star wedding ring king size quilt for our 50th anniversary. Wow. Started during the COVID lockdown. My first large quilt, Susan. Magnificent. Magnificent. Wow, you clever, clever stitches. Beautiful. Right, now, how are we doing? Should we move on to log cabin? Yeah, or? yeah. That, that's done. So that's Amazing. what they end up looking. That's done. Yeah, yeah. And then you just do the same thing with a... Look at that. Have an apple core, yeah. I call the apple core one, and they just interlock like that. Amazing. Uh, Jacqueline says we have just Ooh. had our diamond wedding anniversary on oh, Thursday. Congratulations! Sixty years, Jackie. Well congratulations. Done. Amazing. Yeah, well done. Now, do we want to go curvy or do we want to go log cabin? Let's go traditional log cabin oh, okay. to start with. Yeah. So this is the 12 inch log cabin trim tool two. So this will make six inch log cabin block or 12 inch log cabin block and you can make regular log cabin courthouse steps and quarter log cabins so six different blocks one trim tool for 29.99 that's amazing value that's five pounds per block oh wow to be able to do all of that wow. love that so would you just show us the three different yeah, yeah, yeah. styles of log cabin first please emma so this is your traditional So you have your center square, which is um, typically represents the hearth or the fire inside the log cabin. Mm -hmm. Usually a red, it's usually red traditionally. 
Um, but yeah, if you do a scrappy one, the centers are usually the same color all the way through to add a little bit of um, continuity. Yeah, like that. But I do love this. Is, like I said, this is my go-to recommendation for beginners, absolute beginners, never mm -hmm. quilted before, mm -hmm. because you just have to throw a straight line and then trim around the edge. Yeah, this yeah. is perfect. Absolutely. So that's, so that's regular log cabin, half light, half dark usually, yep. round a centre square, kind of splits the block on a diagonal. Yes. And then this is the log cabin one. So again, you've got your centre square. Um, this one I quite like. A lot of them I do, I've seen traditional sort of red, white, blue yeah. ones. That so it, what's it that block called? Up. Courthouse steps. Courthouse steps, okay. Yeah. Um, if you're thinking speed, this one is quicker to put together than that one because this one you have, um, you can sew two seams, one on either side, before you have to press it and trim it. Gotcha. Uh, whereas that one you have to press, trim, sew, press, trim, sew, press, yeah. trim. Yeah, because like log cabin, you work around it in a yes. clockwise direction. That one you work on two side, two at opposite sides time. at a time. And then the last one's the quarter log cabin. Yes, which adds just another element um, of how to stagger That's the colour space is really nice. Mm. The other thing I really love about log cabins in general is that because you're working on every single block in the quilt at the same time, mm -hmm. once your last block is done, uh, or your last strip is put on, put mm -hmm. it that way, all your blocks are done. Okay. So you you work on like doing like sort of production method yes. every block at the same time. Yes. Oh, cool. Yeah. See, I don't. I do one block at a time. Oh, okay. I want to do a full, complete block. Look, and then move on to the next yeah, one. Yeah, different okay. styles. Yeah, yeah, love it. Okay. So we so start. Let's see how it works. Again, all your instructions are on your leaflet. It tells you what size strips to cut, uh, size squares to cut, um, but there's also a QR code on the ruler. So I'm actually going to do, I'll do the six inch one. Which, which method, which one do you want me to do? Which variation? Uh, what do we think? Should we go traditional log cabin? Okay. Let's do traditional log cabin. So I see there you've just cut long strips. No. Yep. This is the way I tend to do log cabin anyway. Mm -hmm. So what I'll do, like you said, I do the, um, production line method. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll cut all my strips. Mm -hmm. So normally I would have all of my squares cut out, my center squares. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I've sewn that one, I'll leave a little gap, maybe half an inch or so, mm -hmm. put the next one on, keep sewing, okay. keep sewing, all my units grow at the same time. Mm -hmm. So we can use that same method here if we want to, but you're just yeah. gonna make one block. Just make one block. Okay. So you Basically pressing and sewing the first round and then the tool comes in when you want to trim around all your first round. Understood. So I'm just going to use it to square off my edges so I've got a nice straight line mm -hmm. to add my next strip. The other thing I find with log cabins is because there's so many seams, depending on obviously the width of your strip and how many you're doing, mm -hmm. um, once you get to the edge, you can sort of, if you don't do the tool like this, it can sort of bow in in the edges, yeah. in the middles rather. Yeah. This one, because you're gonna be trimming it square after every round, mm -hmm. you eliminate that. So you yeah. get a nice square block Proper at square the end. blocks, yes. And that's always been my fear with that method of sewing to a long strip and trimming off. Yeah. It's a bit like sewing on long strips on borders and chopping off the ends. Yeah. It can ripple at the yeah. outside. But what Creative Grids have done is with this ruler, as Emma said, because you're trimming it every round, you're constantly bringing it back to the size it's supposed to be. Bring yeah. it back to square, bring it back to square. So your finished block is square. It's much, much more than just trimming the ends off, yeah. isn't yes. it? Yes. And there are marks on the ruler for the square, aren't there? So they that you're always bringing it back to the square right, and yeah, true. To the correct place. And the strips that you use are 
uh, purposely a little bit wider than you actually need. Oh, okay. So the oil is going to have enough to trim it down. Got you. <coughs> Excuse me. What width are the strips that you cut? Oh, good question. I think at least two and a quarter inch wide. Uh, so we could use yeah. jelly roll strips for this. Yeah, you could. <coughs> Excuse me. So you keep adding your strips all the way around. Yeah, I'm just going to trim this edge because it's going to be the edge I'm going to add my next strip to. Mm -hmm. I'll leave the other one because we'll trim that yeah. when we trim the whole round down. There we go. I can see actually the sense in making, you know, at least maybe three or four blocks at a time. Mm -hmm. So that there's, you know, you're not doing so much toing and throwing. Quarter of an inch seam on this. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Third of the stock of the uh, lock cabin trim tool two has sold out. Oh, wow. So we've got all four logs, the first round done. First round done. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to use the six inch one. So it's a case of you've got a square here to center your center square on. Make sure that's nice and square. Because everything sort of, the first cut I would say is the most important okay. to get it all centered. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking that rotating cutting mat would be useful now too. Oh, it would. Yeah. If you haven't got one, grab one. Every quilter needs a rotating I cutting should. mat. I end up contorting myself on the floor. Yeah. Well, it's one thing to have one and another thing to use it, right? Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. <laughs> and I am as guilty of that as the next person. There, so that's your first. So you just, and you just continue like that. So mm -hmm. Then your next one, once you've got them all sewn on around the edge, your next trim is, uh, let's see, that one, the black ones. Yeah. So then you trim all the way around, and then your very last one is right here, where you trim, and then you turn it around Got and trim. you. So you're always coming back to the center and yes. trimming everything around there, so yes. it stays centered. Uh, yes, stays so centered, and it stays square. It's a very clever idea. Yeah. Yeah, I like yeah. that. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. And this is a real good stash buster, because all you need is strips, and just separate them into lights and darks, or yeah. maybe even a, a color, so blues and yellows, or mm -hmm. whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you can use up a lot of strips like that. It's really nice. And because you've got six inch and 12 inch, so on the actual demonstration that, who is it? I've forgotten her name now, who does it? Jean Am Wright. Jean Am Wright, that's right. Um, she actually made a quilt with both sizes Okay. So she combined six inch Ooh. log cabin squares and yeah. 12 inch ones. In the same quilt? In the same Love quilt. Love that. Yep. Love that. So really, really popular. Over half is gone. Yeah. Do you have time to show us a little bit of the curvy? Oh yeah, yeah. Let me do awesome. that. Awesome. So curvy log cabin. I've used this one a couple of times. It's really fun and so successful. The results are ace. So you end up, you're making a log cabin with half of the block are thin logs and the other half are thick logs. Mm -hmm. And when those blocks are sewn together, you get the illusion of a curve yeah. where they join. Yeah, super cool. This makes an eight inch block. Oh yeah, let me show you those. I forgot. So I did one of each color. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, put them both the same way so you can see. 
Do you just bring them? Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, got yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, you can already see the curve there. Yeah, yeah. And it's like you said, it's a nice illusion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And a nice size as well for using up your scraps. Oh, yeah. Ni nice size for that because smaller blocks, smaller scraps. Yep. Uh, Fran asks, what do you do with the pieces cut off when squaring up? I would put mine in the bin, Fran. I They're only little bin. slithers. Yeah, they aren't much. Let me show you nah. what I've trimmed. Yeah. I know some quilters will use the tiny little bits, but they would go in my scrap bag. Yeah. Well, we actually, we have, they, they collect them for charity and they sell them oh, for, yeah. for rags. Wait. So you can take them. I think some charity shops will take yeah, them. Yeah. They go for scraps. Yeah. yeah. What do you do with them, Fran? Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you're into miniatures, there'd be enough there to do a little miniature, maybe, but yeah. Cool. So we start off the same way. So I've got my center square. Let's see, let me get one that's already cut. There we go. Great. And this one we trim um, after each size strip that makes sense i'll yes. put two wide ones on and then two narrow ones on yeah so two two wide ones on trim it trim. two wide narrow ones on trim it and gotcha. then continue like that gotcha yeah this is really fun to make mm -hmm. and uh love the results as well don't forget there's a qr code on the front of the ruler it's actually printed on the ruler as well as the packaging yeah so if you lose the packaging you've still got it on the ruler yeah you've still got the information there because that's the worst isn't it if you lose the instructions you're like what am i supposed to do now yeah. but it's and it is pretty intuitive to be honest with you but yes. if you need a refresher QR code is right there. And I think then there's probably even a website. Yeah, uh, Creative Grips website on there as well. Cool. So I'm not actually using the ruler measurements for this bit. No, just, just squaring using, up the yeah, sides. Just So do you always start with the thick logs, Emma? Uh, you do. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, the first round is always wide. Yes. These um, curvy ones, actually the, even the six inch ones, I've seen some stunning quilts with Liberty. Oh, lovely. Liberty uh, on one side and white, just pure white on the really other. Really nice. Yeah. Really nice. And you can do all of the thin logs in one fabric and all of the th thick logs in, in a, another, yeah. can't you? You don't mm -hmm. have to alter, you can alternate, no. it gives a different look. Yes. Lots of possibilities. So you've added your two thick sides. So at this point you square up. Yes, so I've got a um, little square for yep. my centre. So I'm going to line that up and then I'm going to cut uh, the two, so the right hand side and the top side yep. each time and then do the strips on the other side. And the thing is, I suppose I would say that a little bit like with foundation piecing, for anyone looking, thinking those little trimmings, it's wasteful of fabric. And I know that's something that people mm -hmm. we, we do think about. There's there's always a price to pay, isn't there? Mm. For everything you make, for every yeah. result you get, there's always a price to pay. And for the accuracy, yes, and for the ease, and for the success rate, which I would say with this is 100%, mm -hmm. if you use it properly, yeah, um, it's worth it. It is. And it, it's minimal, to be honest with you. I mean, yeah, it is yeah. literally just trimmings. Yeah. It's not, um, it's not a lot. No. So now you're adding the thin logs. So they're cut thinner to start with. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Cool. So these are na just narrower strips. It's a really cool block. I'm just going to grab. Oh, yeah. 
This is the one that Emma's making. This one right here. Yeah, it'll be exactly so cool. the same as that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really cool. And of course this is done in two colours, but you can do it really scrappy mm -hmm. as well. So this is the last strip going on yep. of the thin side and then there's one more squaring up which you should just have enough time for before we go. Okay. So Adidas on screen offer the curvy log cabin uh, trim tool by Jean M. Wright, 8 inch finished block, 27.99, an absolute boon, an absolute boon when you're making this quilt. It will make the whole process faster, easier and more accurate more successful i think for more people yeah yeah i completely agree you know i've done log cabin quilts a few times where i've sort of measured every single log wow. cut to start every single one i've never done the add and cut Looks off like, and that yeah. sort of thing I've measured them. um that is much much slower it's accurate it works really well you get a great result but it is much slower and it is much more time consuming and kind of brain consuming if you don't want to have to do all of that if you want a way that's easier quicker and absolutely successful this trim tool's the way to go yeah it's always choices mm -hmm. and that's all trimmed yeah it's all fabulous trimmed. love it emma thank you so much Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Alicia's involved. She said, can't oh, wait hi. now. We'll use my Liberty stash, but might do a scrap oh. trial first. Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> I yeah. love oh, that. That's going to be stunning with Liberty. Yeah. Gorgeous. A collector in Merseyside says, it's fab when Stuart and Emma are on together. Oh, yeah. Not just <laughs> twice the inspiration and ideas, more like 10 times. Oh, oh bless you. <laughs> oh, Emma, really, really, really wonderful to have you back on Sony yes. Street. Where you belong? Yes. When are you back? Actually, next Friday. It's like, I'm like buses. It is next Friday. <laughs> and you and I are on again together. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Can't wait. Can't wait. I'll see you next week. All right. Thanks, Emma. Bye. We'll be celebrating Christmas together. Don't spend too much on a gift. <laughs> I've, I've 20 pound maximum. <laughs> Double wedding ring from Creative Grids, the star of the show. We spent lots of time on this because it really is just exceptional. Uh, we'll pop those details up on screen for you. It's $38.99 for the template set. This is rotary cutting round the template. So fast, accurate, and achievable for everyone. Uh, pin points included, marking points, match points. It's all there. You can do pieced backgrounds, solid backgrounds, pieced rings, solid rings, pieced melons as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can piece, piece the melons. Fabulous, $38.99. We also saw the Log Cabin Trim Tool 2 for 6 and 12 inch versions and the Curvy Log Cabin. They're both on the website. We will see you after this break for our final hour. It's Brother Sewing Machines. Don't go anywhere. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP &P all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day.
What's that? Christmas bells in July? That can only mean one thing. Christmas comes to Sewing Street. Oh, Chloe, that wasn't in the script. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Join us this Monday here on Sewing Street for the launch of Christmas in July. We've got some fantastic brand new launches to share with you, including Liberty's brand new Deck the Halls range. We've got Delphine Brooks joining us with her exclusive stag panel and a Santa sack. And we've even got a special yarn lane just for Christmas. For all of these great Christmas projects and so much more, make sure you join us here on Sewing Street this Monday for Christmas in July. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hi there, it's good to have your company on this dreary Saturday. My goodness me, the weather out there is more like October the 31st uh, than the end of July. But hey, inside, in our sewing rooms, everything is lovely, right? Now, this hour, it's all about Brother sewing machines. And um, we've been rather big fans of Brother sewing machines here for a while at Sewing Street. And I know you are too. Many, many of you have bought our Brother FS250, which is a phenomenal sewing machine. And many, many of you have, as well have invested in a Brother embroidery machine. I've got that Brother embroidery machine right here. It's the Inovis. Uh, M330E. Uh, well, let's go straight in with our price. <laughs> let's not muck about. Let's go straight in with what you're going to pay with us here today. £599. Now, I remember when we first started doing embroidery machines, I thought there's no way you can get a decent embroidery machine for less than £1,000. How wrong I was. 
599 pounds for this machine. Now, can we just go straight to a price comparison? Because I want to know how much do I pay for this everywhere else? And and there it is, there it is. John Lewis, but now don't they say never knowingly un, un, undersold or something? Well, hello. Uh, they are selling the Brother Inovis M330E embroidery machine for £899. That is £300 more than us. Not £30, not even £100, £300 more. I mean, why would you? <laughs> well, no one will. No one will. Get your embroidery machine from us here at Sewing Street. You're getting this fabulous embroidery machine for £599. You can go for split pays. There's three split pays available. There's no interest, no credit checks. £199.66 to get an embroidery machine home. Let's look at the key features. Let's see what you can do with this incredible machine from the great name of Brother. So to start with, you've got uh, your embroidery area is, is 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres. So about four inches by four inches. Okay. However, I have a, a, an option to increase that area. So stay tuned for that. You're going to like this. But a hundred by a hundred millimeter embroidery area hoop, a hundred and thirty five embroidery patterns built in that's designed like florals, animals, you know, snowflakes, things like that. Eleven built in embroidery font styles. Now, I think the majority of people, um, when they use machine embroidery, actually it's the fonts, it's the alphabets that they are most attracted to, or that they use the most of, because once you've got letters, you've got words, you can say something on your quilts, your cushions, your clothing. Um, you've got a 9.4 centimeter color LCD, high resolution touch screen, a quick set top loading bobbin, wireless connectivity. Um, so you can connect directly with the Artspira app. So if you have a smartphone, you can connect um, remotely to that and download new patterns to your to your embroidery machine through an app. You've got the ability to trace and draw to digitize your own designs using that app. You can also do it via a USB port as well. Um, you can transfer new designs via the USB port. You've got a very simple bobbin winding system, bright LED light, you've got a soft case included. Now, I just want to point out, this is a question I get asked a lot, um, which is, okay, so the threading path for the top, the bobbin for an embroidery machine, it's really different to a normal sewing machine, right? Wrong. It's exactly the same. So if you've got a Brother FS250 or any Brother sewing machine, any sewing machine basically, the threading path is the same. It's exactly the same. It's identical along the top. So spool pin here at the back, thread goes on, through a little um, eye here, through the tension disc. It's all numbered for you. Down through the take-up lever, and then threaded. It's got an automatic needle threader on it as well, just like any decent sewing machine has that automatic needle threader. So the top threading path is exactly the same. The bottom threading path, the bobbin, look, it is top loading bobbin, just like the vast majority of sewing machines. So there is no difference. The difference between an embroidery and a sewing machine um, for the most part is that your embroidery machine does not have a foot pedal. It has a start stop button. So you are involved in setting up the design and getting everything ready. You load it into your machine, you press go, you sit back. Let's have a look at it in action. Let's see it in action. So here you can see, putting the hoop in literally just clicks into place. Your fabric is stabilized with something. There are lots of different stabilizers available. You're then gonna scroll through that screen. It's very intuitive, left and right, 
forwards and backwards. You can increase the size of designs. You uh, place your design. Here it's just literally scrolling out the area that it's going to stitch in. So you can check that everything's going to fit beautifully before you start. You've also got a screen here that tells you which colour, which order, and also how long each colour will take to stitch out. So you might start with the black, you get that threaded up, all threaded, drop the presser foot, and you'll see it's the darning foot. Um, it's attached to the machine, it doesn't come off, and your machine now, just press start, we're doing a few locking stitches to start, and then you can trim the extra thread away, drop the presser foot back down again, and press go. And now your embroidery machine from Brother will take over. It's gonna stitch out the design, so it's up to full speed now, away it goes. I think that was sped up a little bit. <laughs> there you go. So first colour stitched out. Your machine will automatically stop and bleep at you. You raise the presser foot, trim your threads, change the colour. Now this might be useful just to see that changing the thread is just as easy, just as quick as changing it on a regular sewing machine. So the new colour goes on regular spool cap and then look here's the threading path just like with your regular sewing machine one two oh she's done it oh she's done it whoa slow down cowboy color number two away you go so look really really simple and straightforward what a fabulous machine another slide please so just some key features on your brother in novice, um, a four by four embroidery frame. This gives you lots of options. Now, don't worry, you can't just embroider one letter. Okay, you can create a whole word. So for example, you might wanna put mum or brother or happy anniversary or happy Christmas. All you'll do is you might stitch it one or two letters at a time and move the hoop along. So you can do much larger sort of um, words and phrases. You've got on-screen editing. Uh, you can change the individual thread colours. You can place the lettering in an arc or in a circle and more. You can move designs on the touchscreen display. It's very, very intuitive. Um, you've also got USB connectivity and Wi-Fi connectivity. So you can send embroidery files from your PC to your machine. You can also do it via an app which you download. You've also got the option in that app to draw, to trace, to digitise your own design. So it might be something like, you know, um, a child's drawing that they've done at school that you want to embroider on something. Or it might be something like a signature, maybe of a celebrity, or maybe someone that you've lost and that you want to put their, their name or some of their writing on something. Maybe they wrote you a note once that you've kept always or um, a wedding invite something like that you can digitize that now put it onto fabric and stitch it out I mean imagine the sort of memories that you can put into fabric into projects and keep uh, just beautiful the possibilities are almost endless now a little video I want to show you which is kind of the text that you can do because I think it's really important to be able to say something with your sewing So here, what they're trying to say is hello. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. But you can see the different kinds of lettering that you can use. You can move it around. Final checks. This is actually a full design that says hello, hello, hello. But um, you do have, I think, is it 11 different fonts that you can use. There we go, let's, let's trim that thread. 
It's very, very clever. It's really very similar technology to what's used in long arm quilting. So you can quilt quilts using an embroidery machine too. There are lots of designs that you can buy that are kind of quilting designs. You can hoop the uh, a part of your quilt and then you can quilt that on your embroidery machine. So that's another possibility. And in that sense, the quilt batting and the backing fabric act as your stabilizer. So there are lots and lots of possibilities. The price is still blowing me away. I thought you couldn't buy a Brother embroidery machine for less than a thousand pound. If you go to John Lewis, you can spend the best part of 900 pounds on this very machine. The Brother Inovis, 330E for £899. Um, please don't do that. Please don't do that. Uh, shop with us here at Sewing Street instead. You'll pay £3.95 postage, okay, which, okay, you wouldn't pay if you go to John Lewis and take it away with you, but that's it. You're paying an extra £300 for the privilege of no postage. 395 if you've already bought something on today's shows you've already paid your postage so nothing else to pay you'll pay 599 pounds and get exactly the same machine wi-fi connectivity a usb port in the side that you can download i mean there are hundreds thousands of free designs and paid for designs that are compatible you know, I'd be quite happy to pay that 395 postage to save myself 300 pounds on anything and everything, please. Thank you. You've also got that app which you can download, which allows you to digitize pictures of your own, maybe your designs, maybe something you've traced out. That's amazing. Um, you can also use and combine the 100 and I want to say 25. Is that right? designs that are included on your machine as well as all those fonts uh, 135 embroidery patterns 11 built-in embroidery font styles as well as all the possibilities for downloading extra designs from the internet now i mentioned earlier on uh, the tantalizing possibility of expanding the hoop and here it is. All right. So this has been sold out for a while. So this is an extension hoop for your machine. It's $32.99. This is the Brother Large embroidery frame. It is compatible with this machine. Okay. So it's the same width, but it is a third longer. So I think this is giving you four inches by six inches of embroidery space. So for example, if you want to do a lot of lettering, if you want to do longer designs, bigger designs, now all of a sudden you can for an extra $32.99. I think that's money well spent to get that extra large embroidery hoop. Um, I just need to tell you, when we had this first, when we first got this to air, we haven't had this for very long at all. This sold out straight away. Um, I think anybody who's already bought either this model or the previous one, which was the Disney edition, this will fit that machine too, okay? Um, it sold out immediately because I think anybody who's got those machines really ought to get this. Oh, we got it in June, it sold out again. So it's sold out twice. This is our next lot of stock, okay? So if you know anybody who's got the Innovis, um, you might wanna give them a little shout. We've less than 20 left already. Uh, it's already been selling very, very quickly. Um, you do as well, of course, get the um, placement guide as well included with that. Right, okay, I'm gonna go over and have a little bit of a look now at the FS250. Just a brilliant machine and we've got treats. We've got treats. Let's walk over. All right. So the FS250, my goodness me, what a lot of machine. What a lot of machine for an amazing price. We're coming straight in with the price you'll pay. It's three. We're not. Well, Okay, well, what's wrong with £399? Nothing's wrong with £399 for this machine. You're getting an amazing machine. You're getting a free walking foot. Now, come on. This is £40 worth of value. We're making a saving today as well. How? Go on. Oh, you can't crash it on air. 
But we are making a saving, right? How much are we saving? An extra £20. That's amazing. Okay, so you're going to pay £379 today. £379 today. So your five split pays will not be £79.80. They will be less than that. I can't tell you how much less. I can't do that maths. We'll do it in a sec, don't worry. Well, don't worry. But you're paying today, you're paying £379. Five. Five split pays. We'll get there, don't worry. So you're getting already, let's look at the savings. You're getting the amazing machine. We'll talk about that in a sec. You're getting 39.99's worth of walking foot, included for free, and you're getting an extra 20 pounds off. 75 pounds and 80 pence. That's what you're gonna pay today. 75 pounds and 80 pence. I think that's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I whined and grizzled for a walking foot to be included with this machine because it doesn't come with one. It comes with so many feet, which are amazing and useful, but I really think everybody who sews needs and wants a walking foot. So we've included that for free. That's 39 99s worth for free. £20 extra off the machine, £399. But actually, have we got the price comparison from the Brother website for this machine? Because I think this machine on the Brother website is £799, is it not? Yeah? It's very small print, it's tiny, but you can just see it's £799. So at our regular price, we are £400, we are half price. And that's the Brother official website. But you're saving an extra £20 today, making it £379, and you're getting a walking foot included for free for 39.99 extra of savings. That's awesome. Now, the one thing you might want to add in, I'm just going to mention this before we go any further on the machine, is you might want a darning foot for free motion quilting. Okay, we do have these on the show. This is the only thing I think you'll need to add in. Now, remember you're saving 20 pounds extra today by buying it today, and as it happens, this Quilting foot costs seventeen forty nine. So even if you buy this, you're still saving two pound fifty off the regular price of the machine. You're getting your walking foot, your darning foot, and it's still four hundred pounds cheaper than the Brother website. Incredible, incredible. We're going to get the ch the price changed so it's actually the proper price to reflect what you'll pay. We got it? There it is. Okay, here's the price crash. Let's do it. Oh, we can't do that. No. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. I thought you said you could. So £379 is what you'll pay. £75.80 is the first of five split pays if you want to take that option. Now, let's give you a little tour of the machine. Two hundred and fifty stitches. Two hundred and fifty stitches. They're shown here on the front of the machine. So you've got this flip chart here. Okay. There it is. So here's your flip chart. So all your utility stitches. Loads of extra embroidery stitches. And more. And satin stitches. And reverse sort of mirrored stitches as well. So 250 of those. Then up the top here, you've got your alphabets. It's amazing value machine, incredible value machine. Um, in the top of there, you've got your alphabets. You've got three different alphabets to choose from. Um, you've got capital letters, solid. You've got capital letters, outline, and capital letters, cursive. So you can choose, sorry, I give them the wrong order. So solid, cursive, and outline. You've got upper and lower case. You've got, oh, wait a minute, I'm telling you wrong. You've got uppercase only, I beg your pardon. You've got numbers and symbols. You've also got European accented letters there as well. So just incredible value. Now the foot package, I think, I've never seen a sewing machine with such a foot package ever. 
um, even vastly more expensive sewing machines. I've never seen a foot package like it. Okay, so let's have a little look at the list. Just amazing. So um, your machine comes with the zigzag foot, that's on the machine. Um, I'm going to jump over some of these because we want to talk about the regular feet that you get. So you get things like your buttonhole foot, your zipper foot, overcasting, blind stitch, monogramming, button attaching foot. So they're all the standard feet that you get with your brother 250. However, this machine's got an extra package of feet which are designed particularly for dressmakers. So they're those first ones, the straight stitch foot, an adjustable zipper and piping foot, a gathering foot, a five uh, groove pin tuck foot, a non-stick or Teflon foot, an adjustable bias binding attaching foot, and a narrow hemmer or a rolled hem foot. Now those feet would never ever normally be added in to a sewing machine. They got added in as a, as a special bundle some years ago. I remember it happening and then they've just stuck. The machine now just includes those which I think is amazing and we we often sort of gloss over the fact that you've got those seven extra feet for nothing. They really are for nothing. Um, and then of course, you've got your walking foot, which we have added in from Sewing Street, 39.99's worth of walking foot added in. And it's not a generic, it's a brother walking foot. So great quality, just the same great quality as the machine. Now, let me give you a few more hints and tips about the machine and give you a bit more of a guided tour. So here on the front is your accessory box. So your utility feet are gonna live in there. So these are those standard feet that you would expect to get with your machine. Things like the overcasting foot, the zigzag, the button sewing foot, the button hole foot. So they're on there. Um, this all slides off. This is now your free arm for doing things like bag making and for you know, trouser legs, that sort of stuff. If I turn the machine around completely, you'll see a little switch right here. This is to drop and raise your feed dogs. So push it to one side, the feed dogs drop down, push it the other way back again, nothing happens until you take your first stitch and then the feed dogs will automatically pop back up again. So that's your feed dogs, okay? You've also got your uh, flywheel at the side so you can lower and lift your needle that way but equally on the front of the machine if we have a look here at the front you've got your needle up needle down okay needle up needle down you've got your reverse sewing button so when you want to reinforce uh, your stitching You've also got, do you see that button, kind of gray button with the arrow on it? That's your start stop button. So if you don't want to or can't use the foot pedal that's included, then you can do um, start stop using your start stop button. Um, you also have a speed controller, a slider there. And so you can control the speed either to control the speed while you're sewing or as a speed limiter when you're using the foot pedal. So just a fabulous machine. I see it so often in workshops and classes. Just an amazing job. Now, we've got a bit of fabric that we've saved back for this hour. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous range. This is called Daisy's Blue Work. And it's from Robert Kaufman. Um, it's absolutely delightful. You know how much I love blue and cream or blue and white fabrics. And this is a gorgeous uh, selection. There's no bundle. So I'm gonna show you each of the fabrics by the half meter. Um, shall we start with the deep blues? Okay, so starting with this one right here, ending one zero, GX one zero. So there's no deep navy here. Your deepest, darkest colour is this one, and it's a lovely cobalt blue with a little ditzy flower and a little, it's almost like a sunburst polka dot. Um, these are giving me sort of almost reproduction shirting, 1850s kind of indigos, really lovely. Great quality, 100% cotton from Robert Kaufman. 
Um, if you love two color quilts, I do love a two color quilt, but you love that variation of color, perfect. But of course you could mix these with others. A nice message. Oh, hi everyone. I had this uh, brother machine for Christmas. It's helped me so much in my sewing journey. It's made me a more confident sewer. Donna in the West Midlands. I love that. Brilliant. Brilliant. That was your Christmas present last year. Christmas in July starts on Monday. Who knows what's next in your sewing journey? Right, next up, I've got um, QB69. So this is that same lovely deep cobalt blue overprinted with, actually it's not overprinted, it's the blue is printed onto the white, so that's lovely. Um, gorgeous. Yeah, <laughs> lovely. The price is amazing. 5 99 a half metre. That's awesome. Yeah, 100% cotton. And this is Robert Kaufman. Yeah, this is this is fabric for your stash. That's brilliant. I hadn't even seen that. Five ninety nine and a half. You've seen it. <laughs> you saw it. Really useful for your stash, isn't it? Some gorgeous prints. That one, by the way, is very limited stock. So if you like that one, grab that one. X035. This has been really popular on pre-order as well. Leaves and daisies on that beautiful cobalt blue background. How pretty is that? And I love that it's sort of two-tone, the blue, the white. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, two meters of that one remaining, that's all. Gosh, that has been popular. This is brand new today. Has this been seen before? Has it? I've not seen it before. Brilliant price. Okay, stripes next. I'd definitely be buying lots of this. Because I tell you why. Borders binding. Look at that for a stripey binding. That is gorgeous. A bit nautical, fresh, lovely on a bag as well. Really nice. Need lots of that. Oh, there's a metre and a half left, so I can't have lots of that. <laughs> You've got lots of that. Well done. Well spotted. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, next up, polka dots. LG38. It's lovely. LG KF38. That is beautiful. No, this is 100% cotton. This is beautiful quality fabric. Daisy's blue work from Robert Kaufman. Robert Kaufman is a fantastic, fantastic fabric designer, manufacturer from America. It is absolutely lovely. No, it shouldn't be 5.99 a half meter at all. That's less than 12 pound a meter, right? Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Uh, UM90. This is one of those lovely soft blues, like a soft sky blue. It's really pretty. This would be really nice to make a shirt out of, or for dressmaking, I think. A little girl's dress would be lovely. A little shirt. Yeah, these are clearance prices for brand new fabric. Well, let's not question it, let's just enjoy. I think that's great. Now, this would be really lovely on the back of a quilt too, wouldn't it? A lovely light, fresh backing or lining for a bag. I think I'd be getting lots of this because this is almost like, you could use it in your piecing, but this is also your background print, isn't it? That you could then put some of the darker fabrics against and you've still got loads of nice contrast, but instead of using a plain background, very nice. Bit of a bargain there. Um, this is, now we saw the cobalt blue version of this. This is the light blue version, DA20. So this is a lovely soft 
creamy white background and then you've got those lovely fresh sort of china blues you know, like cornish cornish wear it's that sort of blue isn't it do you know what i mean it's that sort of blue that you have on cornish wear yeah yeah like teapots and mugs you get bowls if you rent a cottage at the at the coast they seem to always have this in the kitchen don't they that lovely blue um let's stick with the lights so this one is aq54 five, five meters of this one left this has been very very popular this would be a really good border or sort of alternate block um, fabric because it's a little bit larger scale this is the largest scale of all of the prints so not huge by any means and would suit really well to kind of nice dainty patchwork smaller projects as well it's absolutely suitable lovely for bag making as well Talking of the coast, I was in Robin Hood's Bay last week, which was lovely. We were doing a little bit of the photo shoot for my new book. So the last sort of day, day and a half, we were in Robin Hood's Bay at the coast. It was absolutely glorious. I got, we were staying in a friend's cottage and I got woken at about four o'clock in the morning by the seagulls because I'd left my window open. With the window shut, it was really quiet, but I'd left my window open for some breeze and they were so loud. But I was ready to start the day anyway, so it was fine. It didn't, it didn't matter, it was an alarm clock. Um, DX12, so this is that lovely leaf print. Again, I think this would be beautiful as a border fabric, as a alternate block, as a background fabric as well or a backing fabric for a quilt or for clothing so one of the projects we were shooting in Robin Hood's Bay was a quilted sort of kimono style jacket that's in my new book and um, this would be beautiful for the lining of of the jacket it's all quilted together so you it's almost made like a quilt so you've got this lovely backing. So this would be gorgeous for that because you obviously see the lining and it's quite integral to the, to the jacket. So that would look gorgeous. This whole collection actually would be really nice. I did it in blue and white. So get ahead. Um, stripe, oh, oh, I love this. Now this would be so lovely for pillowcases, maybe a, absolutely classic maybe something like um, a bed skirt it's almost like a ticking stripe oh that is lush absolutely beautiful it would also make a really really nice background for applique mm -hmm. lovely applique gorgeous just need to let you know folks the large embroidery frame that i showed you that is now sold out well done if you got yours if you're thinking oh, embroidery machine you say we've got an amazing deal on the brother innovis 330e embroidery machine 135 embroidery designs built in, 11 different fonts, a USB port so you can download literally hundreds, thousands of free or paid for embroidery designs in addition. You can download an app and use the app to, down <coughs> to download, excuse me, and it's got wireless connectivity. So you can go straight from your computer or the app straight to the machine. You can digitize your own designs. You can trace designs and turn them into embroideries. Amazing machine. You could pay £899 for it if you wanted to buy it from John Lewis. Please don't do that. Buy it from us for £300 less. £599 for this machine. Incredible buy. An incredible buy. Love that. Well done if you managed to get yours today. A few more of these fabrics. They're incredible price, aren't they? You're paying five ninety nine a half metre. It's like a clearance price, but it's not. Uh, CE23. Beautiful, fresh floral. That's gorgeous. 
really like that. That I would definitely make a shirt out of. That would be stunning. It's almost Tilda-esque, isn't it? Beautiful. Now, some plaids, some diagonal plaid. I love diagonal plaid. Um, this is the light blue ending three, nine. Now, this is a diagonal plaid, so it's been printed on the diagonal. Um, what I particularly love about this is that if I was using a regular plaid, so obviously a regular plaid I would be printed this sort of way, a check would be printed this sort of way, I would be wanting to cut it this away because it's so cool, you know, in a block. It's so much more interesting to me on the diagonal, but that would then mean that the edges were on the bias. Because this is printed diagonally, you cut out your squares and they're on the straight of grain. Equally, if you were to use this as a binding, again, or a sashing, so much more interesting and beautiful, cut that way, straight of grain, straight of grain. Really lovely. Uh, very, very nice for dressmaking as well. It is National Cowboy Day. And this, I've got to say, has got a little bit of a look. It's giving me a little bit cowboy vibes. Calamity Jane. Yeah, actually that with embroidered florals on top of it. How pretty, using your Inovis from Brother. How beautiful. Don't always have to embroider on plain fabric. Embroidery looks really successful on patterned fabrics. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, or on things like denim. So a denim shirt with embroideries across the yoke or across the front, or even just across a pocket. You can really, really, uh, or initials on a shirt. You know, it could be a sports team. There's loads you can do with that digitizing software as well. Amazing. Right, uh, this is IJ05. Yeah, the dark plaid, love this one. Love this one. Mixed with denim, maybe. Chambray, shot cottons, lovely. Oh yeah, denim backpack. What about a picnic bag? So in Bags for Life, there's a picnic bag, big picnic bag. You could make it out of this or line it with this, or just make napkins to go with a picnic quilt. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, two more, flowers on blue. It is, it's a charming range, isn't it? I love the freshness of the blue. It's that Cornish blue. It's really pretty, a bit vintage, yeah. It is a bit vintage. Like I say, a bit sort of uh, dressmaker's fabrics from the 1850s. Ditzes, shirtings, that sort of look. And normally pay a real premium for fabrics like that. I've never seen this before. I've never seen this before. It's a great price point. Blue, world's favorite color. I love blue fabric. See, that is just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. A lovely dress with a white collar, white covered buttons, little white belt, just lovely and fresh, bit 50s. Just lovely. That's our last fabric from that range. Smashing. Right, now then, let me grab the Brother embroidery machine back for a second. So one of our absolute heroes today is the Brother Innovis 330E. Uh, Brother, an amazing name in technology. We know it very, very well for sewing machines, but also for embroidery machines. Now, one of our hero products here at Sewing Street is the Innovis embroidery machine. The price is exceptional, unbeatable, I think. 
John Lewis have this exact same machine for £899. That's £300 more than we're charging today. Five people have viewed the machine, perhaps to price comparison, just to make sure that it's absolutely right. But it's true. I'd do the same. I'd check. That's today. That's now £899. We're charging £599, £300 less for exactly the same machine. 135 built-in embroidery designs, 11 different fonts, upper and lower case, numbers, the lot. A four inch hoop, <laughs> but there are the options of buying longer hoops as well. We had one on today, it has sold out now, but we'll get more. Um, threading, exactly the same as a sewing machine. Bobbin, just the same, nothing new there. Okay. You'll take to embroidery like a duck to water, I'm certain of it. Very easy process, very inspiring process. Think about where you could add machine embroidery in your projects. Bags, what about embellishing the pocket? What about baby projects? Um, things like receiving blankets, quilts, um, bibs little hats, Christmas tree decorations, stockings, baby's first Christmas. The date, just putting the date on things, if you make and sell, being able to personalize things just adds so much extra value. Um, you've also got USB port in the side right here so that you can add hundreds, thousands of different designs to your machine. You've also got an app that you can connect to or from your laptop and Wi-Fi connectivity straight to your machine. It really is a marvel and the price is incredible, £599. You can get split pays, £199.66, that's it. No interest, no credit checks, literally just at the end when you're checking out your basket, you'll be asked, do you want split pay? And if you do, just click on yes and you'll get the split pay. Now then, our hero sewing machine of the hour is the Brother FS250. Well done if you've checked yours out. It's a wonderful machine. I know you'll love it. It wouldn't let us do it earlier, but it's gonna let us do it right now. Here we go. It should be 309. It should be 799 pounds. It's 379 pounds here today on Sewing Street. You're also gonna get a free walking foot worth 39.99 included. Thank you for trusting us. So that was the price. Well done if you've checked out your basket. Absolutely. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Got a real tickle now. Can I have some water, please? Uh, absolutely tons of feet added on to this package. So you've got all your regular utility feet that you'd expect, but you've also got things like a gathering foot, a Teflon or non-stick foot for working with things like oil cloth and leather. Um, you've got your walking foot, of course, that's been added in for free. That's a saving of 390, uh, sorry, 39.99. Sorry, that would be a very expensive walking foot, wouldn't it? 300. <laughs> Thank you, Kat. Uh, I'd expect it to be gold plated. Uh, this is amazing absolutely amazing price it really is i've never ever seen a machine i mean i i love there are some other machines i love 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 but i've never ever seen a sewing machine with such a comprehensive package for this price um we do not have the walking foot on its own at the moment apologies if you just wanted the walking foot we will get them back in stock but at the moment we, because we want to give a walking foot away with as many brother sewing machines as we possibly can we've put all of the walking feet that we've got in stock into bundles with the sewing machine for free you get that 39.99 at walking foot for free if you're buying your brother fs250 today from uh, sewing street you're also making a £20 saving on our regular price, which is £399. So you're already saving £20 there. But we've gone on to the Brother website. We did it live on air. Brother, sell this machine for £799. 
So £420 more than the price we're charging today. And you don't get a free walking foot off them either. Yeah, 59 99 extra for buying today. That's your walking foot and your £20 extra saving, but a whopping £400 off the RRP as well. Now, you also get, with your machine, you get a hard case, okay? This again, uh, you know, my... Uh, nearly £4,000 sewing machine in my studio has a soft cover. It does not come with a hard case. Yeah. Um, you've got an extension table. Okay. You've got an extension table included for free along with your machine. Amazing. You've got your accessory box. You've got your free arm. You can drop your feed dogs for free motion quilting. The only thing that you might want to add into your box, into your basket while you're shopping today is a darning foot. If you want to do free motion quilting, you will need a darning foot. We have got these on the website. They're £17.75. £17 so that extra £20 that we took off today you're not even having to spend all of that to get the dining foot. And I really don't think you'd ever want any other foot to go with your machine. You've got a gathering foot, an adjustable zipper foot, a rolled hem foot, blind hemmer, a bias binding attaching foot. That's a piece of work. Seven machines left when you've checked out your baskets. Seven left. We've had this before, you know, lots of times where we've had good stocks, but then we've come in with an extra special deal. And today, that extra special deal is, not only is it already half the price of the Brother website, we've taken another 20 pounds off that and given you a 39.99 pound walking foot included for free. It's amazing, this is the day to do it. This could be your extra machine that you take to classes and workshops. This could be your first machine. This could be your upgrade from the machine that you're working on right now. The machine that's really going to grow with you as you learn to quilt, as you learn to patchwork, make your own clothes. If you want to make your own clothes, you've got stitches over here for sewing regular cotton quilting weight fabric, you can sew thick wool, denim, you can sew oilcloth, leather, real leather, yeah? You can sew jersey, lycra, knit fabrics, faux fur, amazing. All of that, loads of decorative stitches, three different alphabets, I mean the list goes on, it's incredible what you're getting for this money. If it were, £799 here on Sewing Street, just like it is on the Brother website, I believe you'd be getting amazing value for money. The fact that you're only paying £379 is mind-blowing. Absolutely brilliant. It's a great day to buy a Brother. Lots and lots of you on the website uh, with this in your basket. We've got dwindling stocks. We've only got a few left. Um, I'm going to leave you to check out and we'll just go through the menu for tomorrow. All right, so it all kicks off at 8 a.m. with perfect pre-cuts featuring Liberty fabrics. We love our Liberty. Now at nine o'clock, Adele Rowland is in with the Pauline dress by Closet Core Patterns. At 10 o'clock, we've got the apron and fabrics with Sarah Patterson's Sewing Sanctuary. And at 11 o'clock, the Corin top pattern by Grainline Studios, again with Adele Rowland. And I know at some point, Adele, is it 11? Adele's gonna be demonstrating how to use an overlocker. She's gonna be using the 664 Pro from Elna. So if you've wanted a bit of an in-depth look at that, tune in tomorrow at 11. Now at 12 o'clock, Sarah Patterson from Sewing Sanctuary is back with a children's top and fabrics. It's a great morning, an absolutely fab morning. I'll be home at York in Yorkshire, but I dare say I'll be watching. So do make sure you tune in. Uh, I will leave you with the Brother FS 250. Now at the moment, we have three machines 
remaining. Uh, check out your baskets, please. Get this machine home while you're making an extra £20 saving and getting your free walking foot um, included for £39.99 value, included for free. Check out your baskets now. Get this amazing machine from Brother Home and uh, just see what you can do with it. See how it takes your journey skyward. All right, thanks for spending today and maybe the last two days with me here on Sewing Street. I'm going to be back next Thursday, Friday and Saturday for uh, Christmas in July. That all kicks off on Monday. So I will look forward to that. I'll see you soon. Take care and goodbye.